have. But we're about to go do some RuneScape stuff, and I really hope we don't die immediately today because I'm working on a bunch of stuff for this, uh, the Three Bonds thing. Because, man, this discovery of fucking Blender has given me so much room for activities. <laughs> this isn't done yet. This is just as far as I got for the time being. This whole Blender thing has given me so much room to do stupid shit with my life. But I'm gonna make a little thing for three bonds and put it up. So if we die today, I'm gonna be kind of sad because I didn't even get to finish this before we fucking lost our hardcore status and the contest is over. But if you haven't heard yet, I'm gonna have to put this in the RuneScape overlay because I also forgot about that. We have a giveaway going on in our Discord. How long is this giveaway? How much time do you have to enter? That depends entirely on how well I play RuneScape. Because it lasts until I die. It lasts until I die and lose the hardcore helmet that that arrow there is piercing right through. And the winner, we did this in old school RuneScape, the winner got three bonds, as they're pictured here. But it's gonna be higher stakes than that this time. Because Thurlo, who sponsored a good chunk of our group Idiot Man shenanigans into the member world and got Mono addicted to agility, he's basically the crack seller on the fucking corner. Thurlo has offered to supplement the prize pool. Which means that not only is the winner going to win a lot bigger than just three bonds like we had in the first giveaway, uh, there are also going to be several winners. There's going to be a first, second, and third. It's pinned in the Three Bonds channel on the Discord, but let me summarize it for you. Third place, I guess let's go, let's go over the thing real quick before we get to the prizes. You're trying to guess what leads to this scene. Your goal is to go to the Three Bonds channel on my Discord and put your best possible guess as to how I'm going to die and lose my hardcore status in RuneScape 3. You could just say, from death, Lamau. Like, that's fine. You can do that. You can be as specific or as broad as you want. When I die, whoever is the most correct, whoever was correct with the highest level of specificity, the most detail, is the winner. And then we'll have... Now this is interesting. Because now there's going to be a second and a third place. If you go with a broader net, you might have a better chance. You might have a better coverage on second or third as the scope starts to widen to bring in more winners. Yeah, last time the winner... The winner was Dice by Lightning Snake, which was a meme guess. It was extremely fucking on point. It was a meme guess by Pudrisy. Pudrisy did not actually want the prize. He just thought it was funny to play. And the actual winner ended up being Jesterfell with uh, died with food and inventory was the most specific that it got. Um, and we died to a superior worm. So, like, died on a Slayer task would have won. Died on Kurind would have won. Obviously died to a worm or died to a superior Slayer monster obviously would have won. You have a lot of, uh, a lot of range in there. I think even died to a magic or died to a melee attack, I would have ranked above died with food and inventory. But there was nobody that was, everyone that had gone any more specific was off target, because no one expects me to get poached by a random fucking Slayer monster, apparently. I didn't expect him to be as goddamn angry as he was. Uh, that dude hit way fucking harder than I thought he was going. Uh, which would not have been a terrible, like, Superior Slayer Monster, now that I've also seen Superior Necreal, would have been a solid guess for the later arcs, because Superior Necreal is also a spooky son of a bitch the first time you see him, and you're getting slapped by, like, literally all three combat styles, and just getting, like, rapid-fire bodied before you, well, you, I'm not really sure what the hell is going on. But, um, the guesses will be valid until, obviously, if we die, the contest is over. We'll have to figure out the winners. If we complete Dragon Slayer 1, 
the contest is also over. Yeah, still a clip. You can go see exactly. He hit me several times. Welcome, he hit me three or four times. I just like totally pool. did not think he could hit as hard as he could. Runescape. Prime we just, of too far away. Non Bezos but We were just incoming. fighting him. We were just fighting him because I figured we could fight him because worms don't hit that hard. I didn't expect him to do like literally a factor of five more damage than a regular worm. In Garuga, 13 months. Over a year. We've run out of Bezos bucks. We're digging into the actual birthday money here. You with the shiniest squid link. Thank you for the continued support. Appreciate it. But if we finish Dragon Slayer 1, that's our current chunk. So you're guessing how we're going to die between now and finishing Dragon Slayer 1, including Dragon Slayer 1. And then if we get to that point, we'll wipe the slate, pick a new checkpoint, and open the floor for guesses again. So people don't have to guess, like, hilariously late game stuff. You can, the same way we did it the first time, you can guess within, like, a certain band. We did it by month last time. It was guessing how long, whether I would die, like, in the first month. We didn't actually have a barometer at first, I think, because I had no concept. I, I figured I was going to die more or less fucking immediately. Um, so we never even, I don't think we ever got. After a month, I said, well, let's just open the floor again, because I've survived way longer than anyone expected. But what can you win? We started this talking about Thurlow so generously fattening the fucking prize pool. What can you win? All right. Say I get murdered by a superior worm. Nobody saw this one coming. It was a very fucking random death. We have died the lightning snake. We have died with food and inventory. And then we literally just have Zender and Zeold and death by hubris. Which, everything else being too specific ends up being number three. What do you win? One bond. Third place gets a bond. It's a couple million GP. Four. I think one bond is... 14 days of membership, two weeks. Membership to both RuneScapes, whatever you want to do with it. Say you're a little better. You're a little more specific. You get it in there with the food and inventory, and the first guy actually wants his prize. Second place, two bond. You can see that my prize pool has be now become the second and third place prizes. <laughs> the astute among you might see the three bonds are now distributed further down the table. All you got to do is get top three, and you can get bonds. But thanks to Thurlow, if you're the most correct, if I kick the fucking bucket and I go to Discord and I go to the Three Bonds channel, and you have exactly on the money the most specifically correct guess as to how we died. You are going to win, not Bonds directly, the money can be exchanged for goods and services. And uh, after the communal brain trust, which is basically me just asking Thurlow what he thought was the easiest way to do this, this seems to be the easiest and most convenient way to do this. 50 million old school RuneScape GP, which could immediately be taken to the Grand Exchange and exchanged for somewhere in the ballpark of seven bonds, which is... Three and a half months of membership to either RuneScape. Or, if you're an old school player, you can just have 50 million GP to do what you want with. That's the, the easier way to exchange it around, we have determined. Because while I'm buying the three bonds just from Jagex to give out his prizes, Thurla would be buying them off of the Grand Exchange and would have to, like, pay the fee to unlock them so there'd be, like, less total bonds in the pool. So it's easier for the prize pool donor to just give you the coins directly is what we're going with. Apparently, if you buy them off the Grand Exchange, you have to pay like 10% of their value, he said, or something to be able to trade them to somebody else again. So it's not super... I get He could buy a bunch of bonds off, but again, it would just be like last total prize because a bunch of that would just get synced into this like resell prevention mechanic thing that I, I learned exists yesterday. Taxes, yeah. Like, a, a pretty big chunk of it would just get sunk into taxes. So it's easier to just give somebody the raw gold. If they don't have... I, I, which, I mean, which the downside, I guess, is you need to, like, have an old-school account to receive it. But even if you only play RuneScape 3, you can just use that account to log into old-school. 
Again, take that money straight to the Grand Exchange, buy a bunch of bonds, then you have membership for Inscape 3. It works both ways, but it's going to be GP for first place. So the three bonds has kind of become the giant bucket of money giveaway. <laughs> but, but the giant bucket of money, money can be exchanged for goods and services. And that giant bucket of money can become many bonds. Uh, more than twice as many as I was originally offering as the only prize. So we have more on the, on the line this time. We have more at stake. We have much more that there is that can possibly be won. What happens if HP reaches zero wins in this three-place system, like it being first place? I think there are quite a few. Like, really vague ones. Let me look at this. HP gets reduced to zero. There are some, like... I can't... There's a, a couple that are spoiler and I can't look at, which is interesting. Punch in the face or the wrong thing is hilarious. Death in combat is almost certainly gonna be correct. It's like... It's almost impossible for that... To not be the case. Some form of dies by combat. It's a monster hitting... Double digits feels like it's. Can you even hit single digits in RuneScape three? There's, well, I don't know. I guess I don't know. We'll figure it out if we get there. I guess yeah. Boingish room. That's fair. There is shit like Boingish room exists. That is true. Uh, if you're yeah, it's true if you're an Iron Man. If you're an Iron Man, then I guess we can just convert it into bonds. You will just be getting because. You'd have to pay the fee to unlock the bonds. You would just be getting slightly less than if you could take the raw GP. But that's also the benefit of the price just being the 50 million GP, 50 million old school, is that we can start there. And then if you're like, hey, I'm an Iron Man, he's like, okay, and he'll buy however many bonds he can unlock with 50 million GP and give them to you. Or realistically, probably I would do that because I'll have the 50 million GP. And then I just give the rest of it back to him, I suppose. <laughs> like, you'll, you'll probably get, I, I, I'm guessing, five or six bonds is probably what it would be with having to pay to unlock. Because again, their price is also not fixed. You, you count on five bonds if you're in first and you're an Iron Man. What if Boing is shroom but not on Fossil Island? Man, no, you gotta... You put that fear in me! You put, oh, you put the fucking Boing is shroom fear in me! I wasn't worried about Boing is shroom... ...style stuff. I didn't... But maybe I should be. There was a warning on Boing is shroom, right? If you tried to use Boing is shroom, it popped up a warning. It's like, hey, this is dangerous, but uh... It doesn't... It gives you no, no, nothing prepares you for how fucking dangerous it is, because I think that shit hits, like, 50. <laughs> like, it's okay, that's why we're putting all of our points into Constitution right now. That's all of our shit goes into the hit points. We need the hit points. Hit points are good. Last thing, before we start playing, whether you're here right now or watching the VOD, if you're one of the super cool dudes supporting over on Coffee, first of all, thank you. You're awesome. Second of all, and again, you don't have to. When I say this, I'm not trying to force people that don't want to come up with an emote or customize their chat welcome to come up with an emote or customize their chat welcome. I just want to be absolutely certain that everybody that is supporting on coffee knows that those benefits are available to take advantage of if they want to. Hi, <laughs> Peter Carl. I want to make sure you guys all know that you can do that. That you can make an emote. You can either request one and we'll design it, or you can give me something that you want emotified and we'll do that. And you can customize your chat welcome. It's whatever the bot says in text on the Fiverr tier. And if you're one of the psychos on the double sub over at Coffee, because you just can't get enough of this incompetent moron learning hilariously slowly for six hours at a time, it's any audio clip you want. And we don't, we, for the moment, until in the grim darkness of the far future, fucking Mickey Mouse figures out how to file copyright claims on, like, reality itself. And, like, somebody verbally saying Disney, and then they can just sue them. Until that happens, we don't have to worry about that, because it's on the track that gets peeled out of the VODs. So it only plays live right when you join, which is currently... And I'm aware, I'm aware, also. I don't wear the custom chat welcome. Yeah, that thing right there, the Squidbot just did that. That's fully customizable. That, that exactly right there. 
Every one of you. And if this, if you don't have one, by the way, tell me because that means I have to set them all up manually. That probably means I made some minor typo somewhere in the file path on my computer that the bot is referencing that isn't catching your Twitch, Twitch username. <laughs> so also tell me if you aren't getting one of those and you're on coffee. I'm pretty sure I have double checked the shit out of it. I'm pretty sure everybody's is working. But if it's not, I, let me let me help you. Let me fix it. Let me fix it for you. Yeah, totally customizable, both the text and the sound one. Peter Carl just had the greetings from the bathroom. Totally customizable. RuneScape. Let me launch. Run. Escape. Play my title screen music. Play it. I want to hear the fucking title screen music because it's really good. Plan's a good example of how mature you can be with it. We have... We literally have a Discord message noise. We have a Discord message noise. <laughs> we have the fucking FBI open up. We, ha we already have a wide assortment of just like memes <laughs> potent fucking memes and like peter carls if you're on the ten dollar tier i will absolutely fucking record something custom for you it's so good dude it's so good Let's play video games. Let's play video games. Hello! No, I wasn't hooking ducks while I was working on Blender. Why do you ask? <laughs> Call this multitasking. Uh, so my hunter's pretty high now. Um, this might be like. World's first hunter main. Well, we're obviously gonna do Clue Gamba. I don't know how RuneScape 3 clues work. That we're obviously gonna do Clue Gamba. Hunter is my highest skill by a lot. By a big fucking number. It's like by 12. Which is... The, the difference between Hunter and my next highest skill is higher than most of my skills. This, this is... But I figured if I was going to sit here and just like mindlessly do something while I was working on Blender and working on projects beforehand... I, I should do Hunter. I learned something interesting, too. I'm from Sandy's pop-up. Barehanded catching the Implings is not a higher level. Which is weird. Which raises... What is the point? Because that wasn't even the one I saw it on. I saw it on Gourmet Impling was what I noticed. Gourmet Impling, bare handy catching Gourmet Impling. You unlock Impling net and bare hand at the same time. But yeah, it's 39. That's not 29. That's 39. <laughs> it's pretty big. I like grabbing Implings. Implings are like little loot boxes, and just every now and then you see a cool loot box and you just grab it while it's flying by, and that's neat. Be pro pearl snake's net catching. I think maybe, I don't fucking know. Maybe somebody wants jarred implings. I can't think of one possible advantage. You need more supplies 
mean, maybe like the catch rate's higher, but like who gives a sh Hunt for Red Racktober. Does this game have a sequel to Cold War? There's, there, that can't pot, that has, there's no universe that's anything else. The penguin quest line is finished. It's hunting penguins and the quest is called Hunt for Red Rocktober. This is absolutely nothing other than a Cold War sequel. That's fucking hilarious. There's another one, by the way. Magpie amplings. There's so many things in here. Azure skill, Champa? What in the actual fuck is an Azure skill, Champa? What is a skill, Champa? I may never know. Base camp hunter launch? Base Welcome, camp? Squidling, to the Squiddy Pool. I have so many questions. As Shinju, eight months in the pool. You were the shiniest Squidling. Thank you for the continued support. How you doing, my friend? Shinjambas are only red now. Skill Chompas replaced them. Weird. Apparently Slayer and Hunter make Anachronia. Which sounds like it's just fucking dinosaurs. Anach. That's... So, is that worse than Miscellanea? I don't know if that's worse than Miscellanea, but it's... it's If it's... It's on a similar tier. It's definitely on a similar tier. It's also really fucking bad. <laughs> like, ah, thank you. Uh, so I got some water balloons. Huh. Yep, it's a water balloon. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed water balloon. <laughs> now that guy's moist. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. I'll just keep these water balloons because they're funny. Uh, okie dokie. You've been moistened, boy. What do we want to do today? Let me... I'm kind of thinking I want to keep slapping stuff so it's like 20 attack and defense. We got to get our ranged. It might be better to just wizard at things. To get magic levels, because magic levels are more generally useful. But I'll, I'm, I'm going to let one combat style just like sag in the dumpster for right now. My beast... Oh, I just hit five to try to... Because five was... It switched the thing before. Put all my stuff on. Ooh, look at this sword. Fancy sword. It's way fucking bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so this claims it as a special attack. Um... Oh, so we got some weird shit. I don't know when we got siphon, but I'll grab that. We have noticed that enemies can have adrenaline, so this definitely does not is not a, like a PvP exclusive thing, like I would have thought yesterday. It looks like I got some more adrenaline than you. Oh, we got special attack. Strike the enemy with 25% increased accuracy for 100 to 150% weapon damage. Take 75% adrenaline. How much does it cost? Does it cost all 75? Well, then I can see these numbers in here somewhere. It's in here, I think. My weapon damage is 300. My ability damage is dumpster. Uh, but this is 2 to 4. And this is 1 to 1. 1.5. 1 to 1. 1.5 is 300 to 400. 2 to 4 is 400 to 800. So this is way stronger. Obviously, this is 75. It should be. I, I don't know if this spends. Because, like, threshold abilities 
only they take 50 but they spend 15 right that's how those work take 50 spend 15 this takes 75 i don't know what it spends because if it spends 75 that seems not good that seems i would say generally not i got increased accuracy i guess but like that doesn't seem good that seems worse than ulting. My brain just realized it's RuneScape 3. I was like, dang, old school RuneScape mods are insane. <laughs> yeah, it's RuneScape 3. Definitely RuneScape 3. Also, I need to look uh, because we switched over to a two-hander now. But I forgot about Kika. I forgot about Kika. I don't have Kika on my bar. So I'm starting to think that there's so many things with short cooldowns that we're not realistically going to use every single ability. And in fact, we don't need to and shouldn't have every ability on our bar simultaneously. Slice. Punish. 1894. 8126. Oh, that's Punish. I have that. Never mind. I have that one. Um... Is there like a two hand? Is it you? Yeah, like I think there was a two hand specific thing. Okay, Lester Smash. Whack a guy. 24 to 120. It's just worse than this. Huh. Well, we're doing science. I don't know what the blue arrows mean. I got like three abilities that have blue arrows on them. Oh, those are less. Those are a lesser something. Those are the ones that upgrade, I guess. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just want to go whack somebody with a sword and see what happens. Okay, we were doing questing adventures is what we were doing. So give me all of these rabbit sandwiches. On the off chance that I go fight a big spooky boss who's big and spooky. Um, I'll just throw these water balloons at random people that I walk by. Uh, just to be generally annoying. Uh, I'll take like five of these. Just for... I would like them to stop being in my inventory. What am I wearing on my neck right now? Literally nothing. Cool. Give me the... Uh... This seems really good early. When it's giving me like 25% bonus wappity. Especially because this is ranged only now, which means I actually don't have a melee amulet. I feel like I had a melee amulet. I have the everything, and I have the Tithereed symbol. I guess I actually don't have a melee amulet. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just have the pouch of magical spices, and we'll just have some delicious spices, I guess. We're, we're deliciously spiced. I feel deliciously spiced. Do you guys feel deliciously spiced? Solid. Gusta. Progress. I forgot ice cream can just come back here. I mean, well, I have the... I don't... I could just grab that here. The ice cream, which I have a zillion of. So I could just eat. And then I'm current weather condition inferno. I could just eat ice cream and then bring this all the way down to zero and keep doing stuff. But I already did that once and I was actually just too lazy to come over here and get more ice cream. Okay, quests. Where were we on this? Was swept away something we couldn't do? No, that was out north of Drain Ormander. We had swept away... Were all these ones at the bottom good? This was low level enemies. This one's fucking concerning. I'm worried. But it's low level enemies. Says Jagex. It's not low level enemies. Says the RuneScape community. I don't know if there's a huge difference between like the old school and the RuneScape 3 communities. But I'm pretty sure level 350 is considered a low-level enemy among the old-school RuneScape community. Broken home is no combat, and that's by Viroke. We got two in Remington, one... Oh, wait, we were doing the loop. We were doing the one north of Draenor, then we're gonna head over to Remington to do those two. Then we're gonna do the Varrock one. We do Cold War. Okay, so I have to turn both of these off. I have no idea what the requirements for Cold War are. Does this thing have a fucking search? 
What are you sorted by? I mean, time. I guess timeline. Cold War, Cold War, Cold War. Cold War, Cold War, Cold War. It might not be called that also. It might have a different name. Cold War. I don't think it's super early game. Yeah, it's not like hard. It's not particularly high level. But it's definitely not... I can go do that right now. It's definitely not that. That's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute. But yeah, I don't remember this one being super difficult. Also, it looks like it is totally unchanged. Yeah, quest series, penguin number one. It's a series. It's not just one quest that was fucking wacky. What is Saga? Fremenic Sagas? What does Saga mean it's in Demonheim? Dorix Task 3, Dorix Task... What the fuck? Oh, fuck that! Fuck that shit! Two hundred and fifty. I want to go hit it really bad. Ah. Uh, oh no! It AOE's all around it. Fuck no! <laughs> I want to go hit it so bad. Ah. Uh, that thing's two hundred and fifty. They wouldn't put a monster that you couldn't reasonably fight in a seasonal event. Right? <laughs> Someone's furiously fucking typing in three bonds right now. Someone's mashing, uh, trying to get a fucking giant crab of the beach event. Oh, boy. I didn't see this happen while I was doing ducks. But I was, like, over here pretty zoomed in. Anyone who's just doing I want to know what your three bonds vote is. Yeah, it's like we're playing, uh... We were playing 20 minutes till dawn. And someone's like, yeah, take the bounce thing on the grenade launcher. Voted for doubt. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's go. That, that, that seems like as good a time as any to go start working on things. Uh, let's go start doing quests. North of Dookie Diddy Kong Country 2 Village. All the very shady people in it. There's a caravan north of Draenor that we're looking for. I I forgot about lodestones. That looks like a caravan. Oh, I should put three bonds on the overlay somewhere. Where should we stick it? We should stick it somewhere. Let's stick text. Is it, do you have the whole list? You once had three bonds. No longer. Let's just comp this. Make it three bonds. Stick it over here. Make it smaller. Everything's not so vibrantly yellow in RuneScape 3. Let's go like... Well, we can get real fancy. I don't want to put a lot of effort into it right now, though. He said shortly before putting a lot of effort into it. Three bonds. We could give it, like, one of these and have it fade into, like, a brown. Because it's kind of like the backpack font right below it. it doesn't super fade, but it like, kind of looks like it does. Make it a little bit more like a Make it a little bit less uh, aggressive. There you go. Cool. All right, I'm happy with that. I don't want to put any more effort into it than that right now. Uh, who am I talking to? Maggie, you have a quest to use symbol next to your name. So does literally... You have... Skeleton cows. Uh, what quest was... What quest was this? Just, just, what quest was this? Just quick, 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 uh, quick, just double checking. Um, what quest was this? <laughs> Swept away. Can I get skeleton milk? So you just this one just headbutting the ground. You're just grumpy. 
Are you okay? I wouldn't get too close to her if I were you. She's feeling rather poorly, she is. Um, okay, well, I can tell by the obvious signs of animal distress. Welcome, traveler. What can I do for you this fine day, Shaw? Um, so, you got skeleton cows. Yeah, poor old babe, Cha. Hope she gets over her sniffles soon. After all, I could hardly ask her to pull this old caravan to condition she's in, Cha. What is this Cha? I don't know what this Cha thing is supposed to be. Um, I don't, it's hard for me to reference. I don't know what this smells like. That seems like a weird thing to bring up to a witch that appears to have like a speech impediment and shops exclusively at Hot Topic and might be just, were it not for the skeletal oxens, more interested in cosplaying a witch than like an actual witch. Uh, what's the smell? I mean, the cauldron that would. Bring up a mean batch of good stuff, don't you know? Uh, what's all this then? What be the most top-notch bees knees sock off knocking premium batch you ever did see? But such an extraordinary brew isn't easy to make, don't you know? What it really needs is some sparkle. Some pizzazz. Some of the old razzle-dazzle. Are you fucking serious right now? Classic old school enchantment. That's what I'm talking about, Sha. Without a bit of witchy charm, this stuff will be about as useful as an axe made out of toadstools. The only thing is old babe over there has a sniffle, so I'm not sure what to finish it off. I don't want to leave her alone in this condition. Don't you just do witchy stuff? Aren't you just a witch? Not I am, but a brew this good needs to help with at least three experienced witches, not including the cook. What do you need? Uh, quest me up. Let's go. Sweep me away. Come to think of it, there is something you could do. Oh, I think I have to finish off this old brewerunies to give it a stir with an enchanted broomstick. That's a bit of flavor and spark, don't you know? That's how it happens. I have a broom right here. This is bait. Well, the broom hasn't been properly enchanted, that's what. Good stuff like this only come out when there are several witches involved. Betty, Hetty, and Aggie. The perfect. I was wondering when she said when he had three. I'm like, I feel like that's how many witches there are in the free-to-play area. Accurate. We worked together before, and if you can get them to work their magic on this old broom of mine, we'll have a cauldron full of something quite spectacular when all's said and done. I gave my broom. Did I get a Hetty and Remington, Betty and Ford's rim, and Aggie and Draenor, and ask each of them to enchant it for me? I don't... What is it? What are we making? What am I helping you do? And I tell you, I'm brewing the best of the best, most spectacular of brewifications, Cha. But what does it do? No! You blaze this woman! There's not time of the day to describe the glory of the good stuff. So are you in or not? You gonna fucking finish this or no? I, I guess. There's the broom. Hurry back once it's enchanted, won't you? Okay. Look. When the town of Draenor inevitably gets razed to the ground, I want everyone to know that it was labeled as a quest. I can't be held responsible for doing anything that's labeled as a quest. Ah! I was gonna say that this, uh... Maggie witch out here is definitely like much younger and more again I'm gonna go back to the shops at Hot Topic style demographic and the rest of the like Horrible old crones of the mountain in this game But no, I guess they just wave the magic. They're all hot now wand and just de-age the fuck out of everyone Fair enough. I about slept away. Hey, I have this broom Of course, what can I do for you? Maggie asked me to help with this broom it is enchanted. Can you help me? Of course. Maggie's an old friend. We go back quite a way. Now, in order to enchant the broom, we need a bit of space and privacy. A little clearing us witches sometimes use. Would you like me to teleport you there so you can Would you like me to teleport you to a strange, nondescript clearing in the woods so uh, we can do witchy things together? Sure. Witch me up, fam. This is... 
somehow worse than phase shenanigans. So, what the fuck are we doing and why is it a logic puzzle involving like erasing two lines and making three shapes or something? Our little play service witches use on occasion, rather convenient for the occasional ritual or spell. It infuses a bit of magical pizzazz. Out of the way enough, we don't get a lot of unnecessary interruptions. Okay, so what are we doing? Why don't you enchant the broom, right? Right. What's the best way to enchant? I don't know, dead woods to harness the power of this thing. See all those lines in the sand over there? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. You need to sweep away four of the lines to leave four small triangles and go on nothing else. Fuck. I know this is one. But I don't actually know the solution to it off the top of my head. I, I'm also aware this is one of, like, the classic logic puzzles. But I don't know this one. There's only four small triangles left. I'm not sure where exactly our line is. Because, like, if I just got this one, that one, this one, that one, there would be four small triangles, but there'd also be these two lines that aren't connected to anything. I don't think that counts. I'm pretty sure you have to have four small triangles and absolutely no other lines. Would be my assumption. Which makes me wonder how the fuck we would do that. I feel like it's not going to be symmetrical. Four is not a lot. A lot of curiosity. Let me see if that works. Since I can like immediately see that. But I think there can't be like any straggling lines either. I think it's not just like that there can't be additional triangles. I think there can't be any bonus lines. Okay, yeah. Four tri oh, no extra. Yeah, no extra lines or shapes. Okay, I kind of figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fixed it. I didn't think that would work. But was, uh, there's, you gotta just try, uh, try shit and see what it'll accept when you're starting a puzzle. Okay. So four small triangles, no extra lines. So what do we have... Fighting is the giant rock crab. So if I wipe one of these, I have to wipe the other one. I wonder if this is a scam in small triangles, not what I think it is. We're almost obligate keeping these two on the end. Because since they're on the outside, it's ridiculously difficult to get rid of them. Oh, I see it. I didn't even, like, get to finishing my thought. And I just, like, saw it. It came together. It just came together in my head. I felt that one in my toesies. Oh. Hey, you did it. The magical sand has infused the broom for some reason. All right, cool. Come in, come to me and we'll go back to Draenor. That was neat. I'm smart. A lot of power in these types of magical symbols. What the fuck is this? Oh, just, uh, you know, witchy hull. Don't worry about it confused with the magical pizzazz out of the way enough that no one comes and bothers us. I would like to leave now, please. You is win. I did it. One of the old toothpick tests. The only, like, actual thought I got to in problem solving before my brain just kind of aligned and I saw the solution was that we basically couldn't take off the two on the end because it would take all four of our wipes to get rid of them. So those two had to be included. And there was absolutely no way around that. Draenor Village, or Ports of Rimwich. I didn't know there was a Ports of Rimwich. It is the magic store lady. Okay, I kind of thought that her name was fucking... Um... Betty from the quest way to get the truth potion, but the way to get the pink dye is the hardest part of a fucking truth potion. I don't know, she was like a witch witch. You're like a witch witch. You're like on the, a witch on that tier, okay. This is where we do magic that might kill the caster. No collateral damage, easier to clean up the corpses. All right, can you help me with an enchantment? I suppose that depends on the sort of enchantment you're looking for. I need a broom enchanted so we can do something with a cauldron. Ah, brewing again, is she? She's happy to help. Maggie always comes up with the most amazing brews. Cool, thanks. Now, Maggie likes things on the spicy side. I need to find some sort of enchantments to my wand. It's in my cellar behind another puzzle. Go get it for me. One problem. Why can't you do it? I just as luck by highly magical means. I'd explain to you in detail, but I'm very busy walking back and forth on a pseudo-random pattern inside my shop. 
Hey, Fred, is Lottie's downstairs? Pop down the trap door over there and tell her I sent you. Yeah, thanks. Why can't you just... You, yeah, you're super busy. She's super occupied. Yep, no way she could spare a moment to come do this shit. What in the fuck? What are we doing? What do you want, then? I need Betty's fucking wand. I didn't agree to this. She said it's kind of hard. There's a couple complications. There's a penchant for intricacy. You're not gonna be able to get that wand until you get the chest open. Okay. Why is that hard? It's magically sealed. Here's the deal. Just not gonna open until order's been restored to the menagerie. All right, curator, what are we doing? Look around, you'll see six separate chambers, each of which is designed to house a little critter. Each creature has an enclosure that's made specially for it, but several of them are out of place. I need to put them all back in the right enclosures. Yeah, okay. They're very sensitive creatures, and they all hate each other. Okay. You can't carry more than one animal at a time. You can't carry a creature to the door of a chamber which contains another creature. To move the creatures one by one. There's a holding pen that might help. Also, you shouldn't have to move the bat and the snail at all. They're where they need to be. Any questions? Let me know. Here's a magic slate. Shows an overview of what's where. You can use it for reference or whatever. I found it helpful. Okay. Is this like the chicken, the wolf, and the bird seed puzzle, but super fucking annoying? The blackbird sure looks like it's okay. Said the bat's in the right place. Nails in the right place. Guess what do we have wrong? That's a spider. That's a rat. I guess that's a lizard. It's a lizard. Okay, so we can't. When you see, when you say we can't move into the door of a room that contains another creature, it means I can't like walk over here. Okay. That's what I mean. Okay, that's what I figured. I was just double checking. I should have to move the bat or the snail. So why are they even here? <laughs> well, I can't move anything until you get out of the fucking way. Over here. Go sit here and be sad. We have rat, spider, reptile. And we need... Rat, reptile, spider. Okay, what if I just like rotate everything? She said I don't have to move those, which worries me. If we can just like, is this literally just like one rotation of the fuck boys? I feel like it should be more complicated than this. Just one. Okay. This is one of those puzzles they try to per Okay, there's a there's a, there's probably a name for these. But there's a flavor of puzzle where the point of the puzzle is that it's presented in, in an extremely overcomplicated fashion. But the puzzle is actually extremely simple. And the point of the puzzle is to like baffle you with how convoluted it seems like it is up front. This is one of those. This is one of those puzzles. It's just supposed to look extremely complicated at first. And then you realize it's not complicated at all. It literally is just like rotate everybody once. Done. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the holiday event. Oh, so this is like the one in old school with the uh, the manor, the murder mystery one in the manor where you have to use the mirror to, for some reason, reflect fucking throwing knives back into a dude's face. Got your wand. I did exactly one rotation of the animals. There you go. That's just the spice Maggie's looking for. Okay, thank you. Next contestant, the price is never, you've closed your door. Next contestant on the price is leaving your front door open. 
This, if this was a Halloween event, I mean, I guess it was a pretty involved event. It seems to be the Halloween events, the ones that consistently end up becoming permanent fixtures via quests because everyone liked them so much. I'm noticing a recurring theme here. It's always Halloween events. Hello? Third of which. Let me help you. Maggie sent me to ask you for help to change the prune. See, this one's, it's funny because they, like, made the model look like the final phase of Threaten and Zeppelin from Cuphead and gave her, like, the Gruntilda Instagram filter. But she's clearly just exactly the same body as, as every other witch, just with, like, a cucumber stapled to her nose. <laughs> ah, brewing up a cauldron full of her infamous good stuff, is she? Well, of course I'll help. I think this one calls for one of my specialties. My famous theurgical broom. I'll fucking fall back down, little bitch. What did I tell you to sit? Theurgical broom ointment. Now I can provide you with the ointment. All you have to do is apply the ointment to the broom. It's gonna be complicated for some reason. Okay. At first, I need a newt. Do we have those in this universe? Yes, now if you pop down to my fucking cellar through the trapdoor out back, I've had a recent delivery of newts and toads. Larry Gwil's still here. I don't know what's taking him so long. It's certainly not a weird puzzle. Bring me a newt. It should be easy. So why can't I... Oh, this does this do not rotate, though? Right, I have a weird kind of setup with this arm. This stuff rotates a lot less than I would like it to. Uh, So it's just going to sit, like, right here, I guess. I don't want to have the mic in front of my face, but I have realized... Over a long and storied career of slowly getting less bad at streaming. Um, that it is worth the trade-off to have a microphone in the shot and, like, a degree of in front of me to have better audio. It's worth the trade-off every time. High <sighs> delivery goal. I'm looking for a... Newt. Uh, I'd prefer it if you call me Gus. I, I make deliveries for Numinous Witchery Supplies Limited. And if I keep the mic actually kind of close to my face and I'll just put it in a fucking space for no reason, I can actually get... This might be overkill. I can get even less gain on the microphone. I am trying... On my current project, as far as, like, stream quality is cutting as much of the fucking gain off of the mic as I can. <laughs> I'm gonna reach a point, and it's in the somewhat near future, where I've cut enough, enough gain out of the microphone that it doesn't sound like shit. And I think we're slowly getting there. <laughs> we're slowly getting to not sounding like constantly clipping ass. The secret is to have the microphone not three feet away from your mouth. If it's a new you after, you can have one from the crate, but... There's a problem. Obviously, there's a problem. It's a quest. A nudie toady sort of problem. The labels on the crates got mixed up. One of the crates has just nudes. One has just toads. One has a mixture of nudes and toads. I put the wrong label on every crate. I don't know which one contains nudes, toads, or both. Okay, I don't care. I'm just going to reach into a box, and I hopefully will get a nude. Don't tell Miss Hattie, you're only tomorrow's soup. I can't look in the crates. I have a fear of newts. Work out which box contains toads. Why? Why am I doing this for you? <laughs> what do you, why am I doing? Give me a fucking newt, dude. What do you mean if I help you with this? So give me a newt to take the Hetty. They're Hetty's newts. She owns the newt. She purchased the newts. No. The property of Newman is magical supplies limited until the time they've been properly delivered. Oh my fucking God. Fine. What do you need me to do? Need to figure out what's in each crate. All we know is that everyone is wrong. Okay, I'll just look in each crate and... No, 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 no! You can't look in the crate! Don't you know anything about magical frogs and nudes? Also, we can't waste too much stock. Teddy will find that if we start taking nudes and frogs out of crates. Let's see, please. What if we want? I didn't take one thing from each crate. I was, when I was carrying my crate delivery certification exam, I remember reading about situations like this. You can figure out what's in all three crates by taking one item from one crate. 
I don't know how to figure that out, though. What the fuck? Okay. I, I can take one from one crate. Okay. So, I figure we take this crate, surely, because we know that every single label is wrong. So this crate is whatever it says it is. Whatever comes out is in this crate. So, like, hypothetically, let's say this is newts. That means one of these is toads, and one of these is newts and toads. Because the problem is if we pull from either of these, we might pull from this crate. Like, it has to be pulled from this crate, and then I'll just think the think about through the logic afterwards. Because we pull out of either of these, we don't know what we're pulling. We know we're getting one correct label here. So that's a toad. So this is definitely toads. So then I have newts and newts and toads. That can't be newts because everything is wrong. So it's this way. Like, that's how I was like, I'm just going to start doing it. I'm pretty sure the logic will fall into place. Because I, I have to draw from the one that says it's mixed. Because otherwise you don't know what you're drawing from. We got to get, like, one given and then we'll figure it out. I have a newt. I grabbed him by the fucking face. Okay. Company's so powerful, the ghouls are still not unionized. You don't fuck with them. You don't fuck with the... I already forgot the name of the delivery company. Hi. Right. I have solved the, your logic puzzles three, Hetty, and the other witches. Here you go. Excellent. I'll take it and add a little newt slime to the ointment. That should do. Just rub this ointment on the broom. That should suit Maggie's purposes. Cool. Thank you. It puts the lotion on the broom. Keep this, thank you. Consider it a tip. Okay. We're off to somewhere else now. And by somewhere else, I mean back to turn the quest then, I suppose. To lube up that broom, boys! We're going deep. Dinner man looks hella fucking spooky. Hello, Maggie, the hot topic witch. Oh, welcome, traveler. What can I do for you this fine day, Chop? I have your broom. Cha, and how? It's that crackle in the air and that smile on your face, then. I have visited all the witches and I have your broom, which apparently is a weapon that I can use. Oh, I can't tell you how grateful I am. You're a finished treat, you are. If you just do one more little thing for me, I have a fourth logic puzzle. What do you fucking want? Finish the good stuff off. We need to give it a good old stir with that broomstick there. It'll come out all the better if you do it, since you're the one who had it enchanted. That's how magic works, I decided. Can you stir that good stuff in the cauldron for me? Pretty please with sweeties on top? Oh my god, fine. Just a quick stir into it with the broom. Should be all it needs. I'm gonna die. Who are you? Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, me, I'm Wendy. I'm learning the ways of witchcraft from Maggie here. Super clever and very patient. You look lost. Are you... need help? I get that a lot! I don't think I'm lost. Not at the moment, at least. The track of where one is isn't the problem, is it? I think it's more that I keep forgetting where I'm going. <laughs> so where are you going? Well, Maggie's been teaching me the basics of witchcraft. You sent me out to collect something, but I don't remember what it was. Something for a potion, like a spell, a curse, meth. Oh, that sounds possible. Do you know what it might have been? I, I wasn't there, so no. Oh, sad. What are we talking about? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. I want to stir this cauldron now. <laughs> I'm All right, Unga Bunga. Ma'am, that was four. She said one or two. I've stirred your weird oatmeal. Hey, right, with all that added spice, that ought to be one spicy goulash. You want to try some? Is it going to give me XP? I thought we were making some kind of potion or, you know, meth. Well, what witch doesn't love goulash, I ask you? What could be more witchy than a big old cauldron full of spicy yumminess? Why do I need a magical fucking broom? Ah, well, you don't think spice is something that good's easy, do you? 
Look, I'm so grateful for you. I'll tell you to help yourself to ten bowls. Dip a bowl in the cauldron and help yourself, but hang on to your hand. So it's magic, after all. Not to blow my own horn, but just one bowl can improve almost any aspect of your life. Here's a bowl. And you can keep the broom if you like. I'll use it and feed the broom with some good old spice. I don't really need it anymore. Can't do much to sleep with it at the moment, but there's other witches out here who'd be happy to enchant it for you if you're interested. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. All right, experience soup. What are we putting this into? What's cast his range level? Is it more than one? Yeah, it's nine. We are now currently the one archaeology pure is the direction we decided to go for this one. Uh, we have a little bit different different tag here. So I throw this in just herb lore, I guess. Summoning definitely seems like it's giga aids the level. It's scaling XP. It do be scaling. But putting it in a super low level thing isn't particularly wise. Hit points, please. I decided 25 was going to be our bar. You get a whole lot of XP wherever you want it. Rewards in RuneScape 3, I'm noticing. Have we got 25 hit points now? I'm feeling confident enough in that. I'm not as worried about it as I once was. It's level times 10. Let's just start putting in summoning. Do I still have more Supa? Yeah, we're out of Supas, I think. There we go. Good amount of soups. All right, we're good and souped. That was better since level goes up way faster than XP gained. I mean, I don't know. Like, I can put an archaeology and the, the, the point... Well, that's not wrong. Level definitely goes up higher than XP gained. You also have a point of, like... I could put it in archaeology and I would literally get one... I would get ten XP. It's like, I could also go do one action <laughs> and get that. So... The comparison that I'm looking at is the XP that you get per action, like training the skill, versus just getting it from this bucket. So if I just suck down a 10 archaeology XP bowl, I could also just figure out how to train archaeology and literally probably do one thing and get 10 XP. But if I'm sucking down a 100 summoning XP bowl, which is still not a lot, or like a 250 constitution XP bowl, which I think actually did chunk my bonus XP a lot, which is solid. That's a lot more, like, training time that's been skipped. That's the way I look at it. I have a broom. A sweep. Who has a teleport? Okay, let me take these witches. I'm dramatically less excited about teleports in RuneScape 3 since I can already teleport everywhere I'd ever want to be. Because the lodestone network is a thing that exists. Um. Hey, you're a witch, huh? You're observant. Well, you two people are frogs. This is. No, oh, not for years. If you meet a talking chicken, you probably met the professor in the manor north of here. A few years ago, it was flying fish. That machine's a nuisance. I wanted. How do I. Use broom? What a stunning broom you have there. This dude's just banging on a fucking candle in the corner. I'll just, you know, leave him. He probably knows what he's doing. I don't know what to do with this. Okay. I have a broom. Right, the dusty corners everywhere. My quest log. I mean, the quest is complete, right? Ah! 
Oh, it tells me specific. Oh, okay. They just hid it in the quest log. Sorceress, apprentice, and Al Karid. The hag and Poland have reached Old Crony to Slayer Tower, Baba fucking Yaga, and Cardi on the Underground Pass. Okay. Oh, we can go to Sorceress, Apprentice, and Al Karid. I can do that. So the Sorceress is guarded place, I'm pretty sure. Whoops, bonk. I have a microphone very right here now. The problem with the microphone being all the way up in my business is that I don't know how to put the microphone all the way up in my grill and not literally hit it constantly. A problem that can be solved by simply being less incompetent. Uh, but as you may have noticed after watching me for like maybe 10 minutes, I am extremely incompetent. Can I interest you in a broom? Can you enchant this broom for me, random lady? Too much housework to do at the moment. Finish diamond the rough. And it's, oh, you have to have already done, like, sorceress's guarded things. We've done diamond the rough. Okay, I actually have to talk to Osman. Never mind. I think we just have to have unlocked sorceress's garden. Is what that seems like. I was wondering if that was still a thing when we were doing the new Prince Ali rescue because this new Osman who was like this super hard-ass vizier kind of guy. It's way more hilarious that you'd be getting him fucking fruit juice. <laughs> Hi. Anything, you need help with anything? Nothing you can do for me? What'd that be? Give me some squirt juice. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little weird on this newer version of Osman, I'll say. Where do I get a squirk? There is a sorceress near the southeastern edge of Al Karad who grows them. She used to be a friend to Al Karad, but there was a falling out. What happened? The story for another time. Now she won't give us any more fruit. Let me just go ask her for fruit. I doubt it will be that easy. She is not renowned for her generosity, and she is very secretive about her garden's location. How hard can it be to find a garden? A garden is well hidden. I believe it must be my magical means. Okay, how many squirks do you want? And literally as many as you could bring me, but could you also bring them in like a nice cold glass as well, ideally with some ice? <laughs> I will shotgun as many cups of this as you will give me. Thank you for the information. Definitely a little weirder with this new Osman. Sounds weird saying out loud, out loud, but squirk. Is it, maybe it's just skirk. There's not a U in there. It might just be skirk, skirk juice. I'd be down for some skirk juice. How the fuck you want to say these words? All right, ma'am. I may have to actually go there. We'll see. You cockered, uh... What you doing? Maybe I can just do it now. Let me just try it. Yeah, okay, you do it. I was do the two together. I'm imagining it's going to teleport me to a bunch of magic-related minigames. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I remember this dialogue tree taking me, like, 70 attempts. To actually get her to take me to fucking Sorceress's garden. Yep, fucked it. All right, hold down the space bar. Okay, one was wrong. We'll start with two. Two, two. Two, two, two. Two, 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 three. Two, 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 three, one. Okay, cool. I think actually the problem before is I had an unlocked up my tiny Osman. Hello, I am here. It is the Garden of Sorceressness. Which definitely looks like it has not been touched in however many years it has been since they added this to the game. This clearly has not changed 1%. One of the first thing about RuneScape's please forgive me, probably a dumb question. Is RuneScape's please the same game we've been playing previously with graphical quality life improvements? Entirely new slash new, entirely different slash new experience. 
That was a. I want to say six to one half does the other Falcon Punch. Basically, you know, classic WoW versus modern WoW is probably the easiest comparison, but that's not right either because that's had a bunch of expansions that like totally change how the game functions. More or less, RuneScape. Imagine the one we were playing literally just stopped developing in like 2007, and that's old school RuneScape. That's why everything in it looks like shit, plays like shit, and is extremely user unfriendly. And then this is RuneScape, but it didn't stop developing in 2007, so it's had 15 more years of progress and updates and overhauls and graphics and gameplay and user experience and all of the other things that are good. Enchant room. Okay, cool. It is in fact the source of Garden to teleport. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna guess this is a teleport to a just a bunch of magic related mini games. We'll get through eventually. Well, Sorceress's Garden, while I don't hate, I do like Sorceress's Garden, Sorceress's Garden being unchanged has definitely reduced the amount of faith I had in the dream that some of the absolutely, like, shit minigames would be less absolutely shit. Don't think that's going to happen. All right, let's start accumulating. Why do I have gold in here? There's zero point. Absolutely no purpose whatsoever to possessing gold. It doesn't do anything. I'll bring doggo in case I need to do doggo stuff. Doggo stuff is good. Uh, okie dokie. Let us teleport over to Port Srim. Off we go, lads. While I'm teleporting over... Peter Curls. Pop that three bonds up, taking a peek. We are doing a giveaway. Tied to this hardcore Iron Man account here. This is in progress, but I'm still going to use it while I have it on the off chance I die today so my work doesn't all go to fucking waste. Over at discord.gg slash squiddish. Links in the chat right now. You can post your guess as to how I'm going to lose this hardcore Iron Man helmet in the certainly immediate future. Hopefully not immediate future, but inevitable future eventually. Whoever is the most specifically correct wins the grand prize. It'll be three winners. It'll be a first, second, and third place going down the scale of most accurate. So feel free to be as vague or specific as you want in your guess. There are advantages to both. Might be able to lock down second or third with some, like, really general kind of wide-angle guesses. Although dies in combat has been taken, which is probably, like, the best lockdown second or third place guess possible. I'm sure you were one of these, Peter. Hello! How are you? Thanks, Peter. What's you doing, buddy? I didn't do it. It sounds to me like you did it. What are you talking about? Oh, haven't you heard? On King Slime fellas knock around again. Uh oh. I did hear Calamity updated. Terraria is on the rise again. Are you aware of the previous King Slime event? No, I'm not. What the fuck is the King Slime? My big blobby boy, all he is. He's causing some mischief here a while back. A lot of people popped him into one of them their magic portal thingies. As it turns out, he didn't get too far. He was just doing down there in some poor soul's basement. Nice back out and making the right mess of the place. That does sound bad. Oh, you'll be wearing your wee head. Peter's got a plan. Gonna get this situation under control. Though I wouldn't mind having if you're offering. I, I, yes. I got you. 2020. 2020 quest. This is a pretty new one. Okay. But it's interesting we don't have the carbon date anymore because the quest log tells us how much suffering we're about to experience. Oh, happy days! Where is King Slime? Um, King Slime theme? You gotta be too far. Uh, what's...
Oh, I found him. He is... This thing was in somebody's basement. Speak of the devil. This was in somebody's basement? This thing is the size of a literal three-story building. That's fucking huge. Yep. Sorry, ready to hear my grand idea to get rid of him. I fucking, I guess. All right, picture this. Queen slime. Okay. What? <laughs> Think about it for a minute. That's the only thing I can tame a big globby boil. Giant loopy girl. I fall in love, the two of them will live happily ever after. I'll be so romantic, it will. Peter, this is the dumbest fucking thing anyone's ever said to me. Oh. So, like, I don't mean to offend, but, like, I think we should consider any other option. We can look at what worked. It didn't work last time. Portal was a decent success. We should start with that. Peter, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I was fairly sure you'd love the idea. What the fuck, Peter? Uh. Well, I guess they're going Mike Flan then. <laughs> okay. Gods, give me strength. Serotonin. Fill me with your vigor in my hour of need. Fine, what are we doing? That's the spirit. We need to introduce him. He can do it the wee bit spruce up. You know, get him all gorgeous for his wee date. Can we make it? He's a giant fucking blob. Oh, I don't know. Give him a wee hat or something. All right, that'll do it. Oh, the top hat is we head up there for you know what? Told me sauntering off in the sunset. The top hat. Do we have a top hat? I have a chat with the on the clothes shop of art. Here's a wee don't sort me out with some chef costumes, which she did. I'll go with the Eric. Chef costume? Well, I'll be back then, I guess. You enjoy your giant blob demons. So I also want to ask how you got a queen slime. It's probably something that should have been covered in the uh, the interrogation. How do we have a queen slime? Also, I guess we covered why. Really help me. Hey, how can I help you? I'm just gonna monocle now. This is gonna be really fucking awkward. I'm listening. Oh, maybe that's just a shadow from her hair. It sure looks like a monocle though. Here, a king slime. How could I not have? I still have nightmares. The chaos he caused in Remington. Lie in bed at night sometimes, I can still hear the gloop, gloop, gloop. I'm sorry. It's okay, I was just a, such a tough time for Gilinor. I'm just glad it's all behind us. So, I have good news and bad news. What's the good news? King Slime Fiasco is definitely behind us. The bad news? It's also in front of us. <laughs> can't mean uh, yep yeah, I, yep <sighs> tell me everything all right same shit but there's two of them now Ooh, slimes yep king and the queen it's that imbecile that messed around with his jelly again yeah yep yep yeah yeah <sighs> all right what do you need from me this is gonna sound weird but i need a top hat do you have a top hat is this crazy plan to make the queen fall in love with the king and hope they'll just stop being aggressive and leave? I mean, I guess that could work. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know, but this is what the quest is, I guess. Do you have any ridiculously large, like, novelty top hats? You know, funny thing, actually. You seem to have been living under a rock to not have heard of my world record attempt. <laughs> I'm all around here 
from being the creator of the second largest offense. <laughs> well, that's that's great for me. That's exactly what I need is the creator of the second largest top hat of all time. Okay. That's extremely convenient. This is some strong, like, modern Star Wars movie script level of coincidences, and I'm super here for it, honestly. Yeah, anything to save Gilinor. Thanks. Love this one. I really wanted to have, like... God damn it. I wanted it to be, like, more inventory space. I guess we don't really do that. I'm sure our lives become marginally worse. We learned how I made the Queen Slime. Look. On the one hand, I'm sure the process is horrific and it's nothing that any of us want to spend a single second thinking about. We don't want to look any further into the slime disaster. But on the other hand, you know, you get a problem. You can't just bury your head in the fucking sand like an ostrich and hope it's going to go away. You got you to gotta learn, right? You got to investigate how this happened. It's part of understanding how you're going to stop it from happening again. I have a giant top hat. I'm not putting down the slime. You do it. Excuse me. So you got our slime borrow a giant top hat. Yes. For dare's sake, what part of get my wee top hat you not get? You look like a fuck Egypt in that thing. They just sometimes just say words and I don't know what they mean. <laughs> like, he looks so daft he is. Right, listen here now. You take that back to Salia and tell her, I don't want you to give her a right token. I don't think we've got to that part of my story arc yet. Did you watch the bat? It means a telling off. Okay. That thing's ridiculous. What kind of size a top hat is that supposed to be? I'll go get. I'll get smaller. I'm fucking damn it. It doesn't appear that things have a weight anymore now. That only mattered for run energy, and it seems like run energy is only technically a thing now. Outside of that one really fucking annoying summoning minigame. When this is all over, can we stab Peter just a little? I mean, for the good of Gilinor, I think it's very important that we stab Peter a lot. And not a little. The plan work. Please tell me it worked. So. Well? He just had me back because this top hat's too big. Too big? How can it be too big? It's for a massive slime king! I know. I don't get it either. What does he want me to do about it anyway? He just wants a smaller top hat. Like a regularly sized top hat. I specialize in giant top hats! Peter knows this! Uh... I mean, you don't have any smaller top hats? No, I do not. Damn. Oh, okay, I'll go to fear the bed. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Eva. I have an idea. Eva's been building a shrinking machine. I need a top hat. I need a regular top hat. All I need is a normal run-of-the-mill top hat. So we're going to take a novelty-sized top hat that she built to try and get into the Guinness Book of fucking Gilinorian Records for largest top hat and put it into a shrinking machine. That's... That's the easiest way we can get a top hat. Yeah, maybe we could use it to shrink the top hat I gave you to a normal size. Yes. Where's Eva? Set up the machine in East Farrakh. One well, of the buildings just south of the bank. Okay. Don't blame me if something goes wrong. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. This is a quest. I'm not sure what we're doing. But we're doing something. Oh, that looks like a shrinking machine. 
Don't put your dick in this. Hello? Hey, it's not normal for me to get visitors. Hi, the Salius sent me. I need some help. Oh, the Salius is a great companion of mine. A friend of the Salius is a friend of mine indeed. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. Spit it out. What am I doing for you? I got. I have a giant top hat. That is indeed a very large top hat. Probably the second largest I've ever seen. Is it for me? No, it's for the Slime King. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, uh, it's way too big. Too big, you say? Yes. Oh, this is perfect! You can shrink it with my shrinking machine! That's, yep, that's why I'm here. Oh, this is fantastic! You can be the first one to test it! You didn't put anything in the shrinking machine yet? Is this gonna kill me somehow? I am 100% certain that it is probably very safe, maybe. Okay. How do I use this? Simple! If you get a control panel and you're good to go. Okay, why don't... That sounds like something you should be doing. Pull some levers, push some buttons. It's not too complicated. You'll figure it out. If you do it wrong, I'll tell you how many of the inputs you got correct. Or it will explode. I think it'll tell you about the inputs, though. This, again, sounds like something you should be doing. Yeah, just keep fiddling with it, and eventually you'll get what you want. Okay. This, why, I don't... Why am I doing this? One. 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 There's three ones. Let's... Keep the 50-50s. Switch the one and threes. And then let's do... I think we have... Isolation test here. trouble. I'm working on it. It's gonna... No, it's fine. One, three, one, three, one, three. How is it three every time? How is it... It's literally always three. Is this a meme? Okay, no. I was starting to wonder if this was just a fucking joke. Okay, so... It's really hard to figure out... God, shut up. I'm hitting buttons. It's fine. Look, I'm hitting a bunch of buttons. Okay. So... One, one, one. I'll do it linearly, I guess. One, two. The last one was right. Two, one, 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 one. So it starts on one and ends on one. One, two, 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 one. Four. Shut up! One, three, two, 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 one, five, one, three, two, three, two, one. I lost track of what I did in the last one. Fuck. One, three. Definitely right. One, one, one. Two, definitely right. One, three, two. One, one, two. Was... I lost track of everything. Okay, I've lost track of literally everything. Okay, so we know. One, 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 two. No, that one, the last one was two. It was two, one. Okay, I got him back. I got the first and the last one's back. Now I fucked that one up too. All right, I've lost track of literally everything.
was... Oh, it's because I was switching voltage is what I was switching. It's this, not this. Okay, cool. So you're here. You're here. And that's as much as we know so far. We know you're right. We know you're right. I don't know anything. All right. Forget everything. Whiteboard. Whiteboard. One, 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 one. That's three. Two. One, 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 one. one. That's two. Okay. That's yes. Okay. Because it is silver button for sure. One, 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 one. Your no one. We know that one. That was what we discovered literally on the first two trials. And then I forgot everything immediately because I absolutely stubbornly refused to write anything down. One, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, so both of the... It's one, one, two on the ones that have two options. One, two, one. To keep that one for consistency's sake. And then we know the second one is three. We, f we already solved this one. We already knew that, Eddie. We already knew that, Eddie. One, three, one, two or three. Two. Okay, and then, and then one, three, one, three, two, two. I forgot everything. I forgot everything. One, how, okay, we know it's, shrink we know it's medium no it's not it's it's fucking high we know it's one we know it's one we know it's three we know it's one we don't know this one we know it's two we know it's one okay hit we know it's one we know it's three we know it's one. We don't know this one. I'll try two. We know it's two. We know it's one. Why am I so dumb? My brain literally like re repulses information from its surface. We solved that 15 minutes ago. It's just every single time I open the machine, I forgot one of the knowns. <laughs> like I just, I literally just could not remember six consecutive knowns. That's all it was. And chat's literally trying to backseat the puzzle, which is why I did not look over here at any point during the solution system, because I knew there was a 100% chance people were just screaming the solution in chat because I've streamed for more than 20 minutes before. Giant top head into the machine. <laughs> Regularly sized, god damn it, I want to put it on my head. Regularly sized top head. Okay. This could have been solved by one second of writing, just like. I'm not smart. This could have been solved by like one second of going one, three, one, two, blank, one. That was all I had to do. All I had to do was like write anything. 100% of that was me forgetting one of the six inputs every single time I did it. I did see chat literally say that directly, API dev. There's nothing else it could have been. It was six digits. I did put that one together immediately. I did see chat straight up give me the solution afterwards. It's all red dot. is that it can hold hands with my mouse it can touch tips the two mice they were never meant to be it was it was the forbidden relationship 
There was never any hope. I have your wee top hat here. Hey, look at that S class. Let's get to our boy and let him get down to Corton. Come here, handsome. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. King slowly makes its way over to the queen. <laughs> That's it, big lad. I think it's working. Is it? It's just like slowly gyrating. Oh! The tiny top that has failed us. Fuck, son. See, we showed up with a comically large top hat. It's not comically large if the subject wearing it is also comically large. It's just a regularly sized top hat. Aw, his probably heart's broke. I was sure that was gonna work. It's almost as if this was fucking stupid in the first place. Excuse me, I don't know if you're negativity. Clearly nothing wrong with the plan. There's just something else around here that's taking a fancy. So have a wee chat with her. Maybe she'll tell you what's got her so distracted. Do you want me to go talk with the girl giant slime monster? Hi, I'm deadly serious. Of course. Look, you can just stand her over there, give her a funny poke and say, Here, love, what's the matter with you? She'll open her wee heart to you and let you know what the crank is. This is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Ah, uh, don't knock until you try it. Off you go now. Oh, clean slime. There we go. Tell me to say again. Uh. Hello, love. What is wrong with you? Do you hold the pink goo? It feels sticky. Yeah. Understandable. I have pink goop, sir. What's she saying? Nothing! I don't speak slime monster! I just have a fucking pile of goo on my hands! Oh! Oh? Maybe we can use that. How? That just means to clean herself, right? Clearly she's been drawn to something. It makes sense this place where slime would be, too. That's... No! Why? Well, that's not how that works. Okay, you know, actually, maybe. If she doesn't really have any, like, notable physiology and it's just a contiguous pile of somewhat sentient ooze. Ah, right, you see, not just a pretty face. He's the drunkest slime around the place. The same as being drawn anywhere in particular. Also. Okay, you can have your favorite bucket so you can. Never know when you might need it. Okay. Thanks. Must be somewhere in Remington. Ah, great intel. Wonderful intel. <laughs> this is useless! Okay, I'm gonna go over here because she keeps going this way. So I'm gonna go over here. Custom sergeant. I... I literally have nothing. I thought this was going to be like a hot or a cold. Way to put the bucket. What do you want me to do? This is the reassurance bucket. It's absolutely the real reassurance bucket. Hi! But he puts anything in there that's under arrest. I don't. This is pointless. I've. Is this doing something? It's not doing anything. 
I thought it was gonna give me a direct, like, hot and cold was what I was expecting. This doesn't do anything! In the well. I have a bucket of water now. No? Not interested in the random water. How about this condemned fucking door? This is a different thing. This is an old school quest. This claims to be created in 2020, but this is clearly like a 2003 old school RuneScape quest with just literally no direction where you just run around and click on everything until something eventually progresses the quest. Drop coin and well. A faint glooping noise. Put the goop in the well. Use this on the bucket. I... Am I supposed to have a bucket of water before I hold this up? Okay, this is, this is like, this is seconds from going on to the fuck this quest list with the, uh, quest where you go to the gold dimension in old school RuneScape that I just said, fuck it, this is impossible and just never did it. I literally have no idea what you want me to do. Give me a bucket. What could be... What else can you do with a bucket? Like, the bucket is my hint. Is this part of Remington? The bucket is the hint. Doesn't appear to be drawn anything around here. Okay, it is hot and cold. Okay, that's intel. It is hot and cold. It's just so vague as to be totally useless. I don't think it's going to activate until I'm out oh, something in a nearby building. Okay, it is hot and cold. Right next to me. Ah. You want this weird piss water. Not piss water, it's just purple. Meat. Would you like some purple goop? Nothing gloopingly interesting happens. Hello, sir. Found something goopy in the cauldron that it seems to like, I guess. It was just really poor. It was exactly what I thought it was going to do. Hot and cold. It was just presented so fucking poorly that I thought it wasn't working. <laughs> you not expect me to, to find it? Oh, yeah, I was. I knew something around here was distracting the big girl. Right. What do we do with the purple goop? Hmm. Why don't we just splash it over our boil? You know, like one of them colognes. They'll be smelling right and fancy. Should be wild keen on him after that, I bet. Okay, I'll go dump this all over Kingus. Hello, Kingus. Yeet. Eight. Eight. Splash the goop over King Slime. King makes his way to the queen. I was going to say, they didn't feel like animating at this time. Oh, he's looking promising. Go on, my son! She, she definitely does seem more interested. That's positive. Why, why wouldn't she be? Just look at him. Our fellow's looking wild dapper and got the smell to back it up. Yes. Wait. What's he doing? Yes! Come on, you girl, ye. Fuck me, dude. Uh oh. He 
Hater, what the fuck have you done? What have you cursed us with? What is this hell you have subjected us to? Okay. Now we have... One slime. We did it! What do you mean we did it? She absorbed him! Yeah, there's something worse than anything we had previously. Now it's on fucking super meth. Oh, we lighten up. King slime's no more. And look, queen slime's headed off on her holidays. And you know what? While we're a betting man, I'd say we'll never see nor hear from her again. Oh, look, she's so happy she left us a pressy. No swanky top hat for me. You can hold on to that bit of pink slime. Don't worry about it. You've earned it. Oh, would you look at that? It's a fine wee hat, so it is. You're enjoying a wee bit of slime. I'm gonna fucking stab this guy. Oh. Oh shit, it's actually alive. Hold on. Slime gurgles at you. Oh, well, you're a wee don't. I think she likes you. I guess it's kind of cute. Oh, there was you sitting complaining and all that. All's well that ends well. Yeah, it just seems like it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Now that it's all over. Oh, we hit the town of find me a lassie. Yep, that's up to you, Chief. I'm gone forever. You sure? Put yourself. Good. But I just want to fucking stab this guy. What is luck when you got a fancy out like this? Why did I get 2,500 cooking XP for that? I don't... Why did I get cooking XP? What part of that was cooking? I got a top hat... Cooking XP because she ate him after you seasoned him. I mean, I guess... Broken Home was the Varric one. Song from the Depths is also right here. I need to defend against low-level enemies. Probably fine. This one's also voice acted, so I can take a break from doing horrible NPC voices. Ooh. We got, we got one piercing note energy coming out here. Okay, okay, okay. Wake up, Waylon, wake up. Come on, you great drunken oaf. This isn't funny. How are you, uh... How are you doing? No, everything is not okay. I can't wake any of these men up. They keep muttering things. Strangely similar things, as though they're all sharing the same dream. No, they went to the fate. It happens. Makes no sense. Demons and shit. I've heard rumors of men affected like this. Lulled into sleep by a strange force, never to awaken again. They just lie there, empty, as though their soul just up and left somewhere. I don't know what to do. That's my husband there, my Waylon. I don't know what I'd do without him. Uh, well, sorry, sounds like a whole lot of not my fucking problem here. They're all going to just say Memorpica. How well, can I help, I guess? Well, I ain't going to turn you down. Anything to get my Waylon back. I should warn you, though. A warrior named the Raptor came here before you and offered to help. He terrified me. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Well, he called himself the Raptor. Was he, like, 14, or...? I gave him a restless sleep potion. An old recipe I learned from a witch some time ago. Oh, fair enough. She said it would let me visit the world of dreams. Whatever that means. He drank it and then seemed to fade away to somewhere else. You'll need to drink it as well if you want to catch up with him. So just generally the the, the magical ritual that sends you to the sleep dimension while you're awake goes has gone well in zero out of literally every amount of times that it has ever been tried. This shit never works. 
It's never a good idea. I'm not afraid you to never want to do that. The raptor. His stories about him. His solution for a problem is to destroy everything linked to it. That's not who I want saving my husband. Uh huh. Protect my Waylon, would you? I know he's a drunkard, but he's my drunkard. <laughs> I know he's a wife beater, but he's my wife beater. You'll need this if you want I won't to have him beaten anyone else. Alien. If it has the effect I think it will, you'll enter some kind of dream world. Then make sure you get to Wayland before the raptor does. Why did you even hire this guy? Why'd you give him the potion instead of just give him like ambiguously like, okay, I have a quest, please help me. You guy does not give him the potion. You fall asleep, you still have some control over your body. Okay. We're still here. I just understand you sleepwalking gibberish. Well, I see pink men going on an adventure. Where are we going? Weird pink. Okay. Where are we going? Up right here. Oh, there's a cave entrance. Oh, I, I knew that. I can see. I have eyes. It's Mauritania, but again. You guys, I think, I think this is Mauritania's thing. You guys are in the wrong. This story starts under the sea, in the home of my sisters. In that home, I found moments to sing. This is fine. But I knew if my sisters heard me, they would roll up some kelp. And force it into my mouth. So I learned to sing quietly. What do we have fucking dream sirens? What the One hell? Night, my sisters were out hunting. I swam from my home and came upon a village on the edge of the sea. There were so many people on the docks, working and talking, okay. but they could not see me in the dark water. So I sang to them. Okay. Keep talking, witch. Makes it easier to find you. Hello. Grr, or whatever. So we have some kind of a sleep siren. If you're here. Oh, sorry. If you're here to stop me, then you have a problem. Holy shit, this dude isn't fucking like gigging shit. This guy's a rectangle. Actual rectangle of gilded steel. And that problem is standing in front of you. Look at that fucking flail. I heard to save Waylon. <laughs> it's too late to save Waylon. Come to me, my men. Gather to hear my story. Do you think she's the only direction that we could go? Only thing left to do is kill her. Keep your distance. Don't try to stop me. Well, thanks for waiting for me. I appreciate that. So I sang an old mermaid song, and the men on the docks listened. Guys, I, I like I told you this yesterday. We're not playing Sea of Thieves this week. Fly, drift on the northern wind. But not. That's this next week. Goldfish, bask in the western sun. I feel like this is going to be relevant to a puzzle in thirty to forty-five seconds. We're obviously in like a Lost Woods kind of situation here. I don't know which one I want, though. Do I want the north or do I want the west? Goldfish seems better. I'll start here. else in here I can like see I don't know because it's two directions oh it's probably north and west is it just the order of the song is it two things so I sang an old mermaid song okay it's just one and the other do I have to start over I went north now I go west I 
Oh, I think I have to start it from when she says the thing. Okay, so say it. Do it so again. Yeah, okay. Um... Count on RuneScape to come up with a puzzle and then implement it in, like, the worst way possible. <laughs> it is still, in fact, RuneScape. From southward sea, from the okay, south and east. I get it. Do it again, just to make sure you didn't, like, sort of happen to randomly click on two doors that worked... No particular reason. We're just double checking. You understand the assignment. The sailors on the dock heard my song, and I could see the doing? adoration on their faces. Man wants to bang a fucking mermaid, which is a feat that I'm not even confident is possible. None of the men made an effort to swim, and they drowned. I lifted the dead bodies back onto the land. Accident, Siren. Oopsie poopsie. Whoops, I killed everyone in the town. My, My bad. Even the town changed its name to Witch Haven as if to remind me of what I had done. Huh. Is this like a fucking sea slug prequel? It is me. Oh, that has stopped being a door. Hey, I also wanted to use that. Okay. I knew I should mourn those men, but I could only think of their adorable. But purple magic jail now. They had on me. So I swam for the town again. This time, I climbed onto the land and sang for the men of the field. Just stop doing that. There was no water to drown in, and they looked at me with such love. To credit, it's very much an interesting concept. The like. Fuck, I have super mind control. What's the should I be looking for? I have super mind control. But I don't know it and can't control it. How do I I thought for sure that was gonna be like the way that he was looking. Okay, so it's not that as of where you came from. The opposite style. Do something other than just run over it. You're obviously here for a reason. Don't know what that reason is. But there's a wall feature. I don't know what you want me to do. Gonna level with you? His vision bounces off of the wall and goes this way. I have no. But then the men yeah, I got. Saw one another. They became jealous. Maybe I'm just looking for something. I guess this is a storytelling device. I don't think they have anything to do with where the symbol is. It's just because I, I thought I had to stand on a specific tile. So I just run around. It's got a pretty decent radius. And they fought. They hacked at each other. Beating flesh and bones with rocks. A startling number of fey and mythical creatures would be less threatening if people were just less horny. You're not wrong. The amount of fey shenanigan and like horrible Greek mythological creatures that were going around fucking causing legendary problems and killing entire villages and doing all of that stuff would have been reduced not like infinitely a minotaur is still gonna fucking destroy you regardless of how horny you happen to be but it would have been reduced by at least like 
40 to 60 percent if people were just less fucking horny all the time oh specifically just zeus was less horny all the time that's like a 30 percent cut in the total amount of things that went wrong Yeah, As I book. learned new songs, I found I could affect men in other ways. Oh, no, well, now you're just playing with it. Now you're just fucking playing with it. That's actually too many. You're right. I forgot. I was thinking about the Minotaur itself, but you're right. The creation of the Minotaur was people, please be less horny. You're right. One song allowed me I... to attract the souls of dreaming men. Example didn't even fucking work. <laughs> Night or day, I was surrounded Man, it by would be great if everyone was just less horny. And I loved them back. It really is the source of almost 100% of Greek mythology, is people literally just cannot keep it in their pants for like five seconds. And it's not even just people, it's people and also all of the gods, but mostly Zeus. But it's also all of the gods. It's not a Zeus specific problem. Zeus just gets the shit end of the stick because he did it the most. Because Zeus is just the one that literally fucked everything. But like the other gods also causing a litany of various disasters by just having absolutely no control I over their sexual desires. Sharing the love of dreaming souls. It's like way back it when everyone who was coming up with the Greek mythology and uh, like so however these stories came into being, they were all fully I aware I came across of what like the predominant problem facing the human race was and that is just 100 percent thinking with dick rejection, fear, and hatred. It ignored me. there was such a major focus that like one of the primary gods of their pantheon is just the god of how horny you are you have like the god of thunder and lightning and storms. You have the god of the entire ocean. You have the god of the concept of death. And you have the god of, like, being horny. Like, those are... <laughs> they, we accepted that those were on a similar tier. Those were generally around the same plane of existence. There's, like, controlling the crop yields... That to which our entire society is dependent for continued existence, you know, dick hardness. Similar tier in the mythological deific pantheon. Like, we understand these are on the same level. Ah, oh, the burning bush. I know this one. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But you've also, like, uh, Edward Relica, you're hitting on the, the hilarious concept of... I approached the furious soul. It like, screamed as if archaeology. The, the hilarious concept of archaeology and study of historical so culture through a modern to lens. And the water extinguished the fire. The theory of imagining that, like, somehow we lose connection to a lot of our modern understanding and our modern culture via just like the entropy of time and you're looking at a civilization 4,000 years in the future. I don't know, fucking aliens come down from Mars or some shit studying the now extinct human race. Finding freaking lolcats and thinking hmm, these people had an entire religion structured around cats and calling each other shit on the internet. <laughs> this was one of their, one of their prime deific obeisances was arguing on Reddit. Like, what do you... What do you even come to? But is, are you supposed... Ah, are you moist? You're moist, okay. I would like the on-fire plant, please. I would like to put it in the pot that's wet. There are a lot of fucking doors. Did I still... I'm gonna... 
going to go through the door of wetness. Although it didn't rage anymore, the soul had burned down, as if only a spark. I gave it the breath of life, keeping its heart. Kephis is going to Aphrodite and basically care about making cool shit. When she cheated on with Ares, he caught him in a net and prayed him around Olympus. <laughs> One, what are you supposed to be? Old? Ah, uh, yes, the four elements: water, old, mushroom, and plant. <laughs> Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony. Am I supposed to move the sampling? No. Are they really supposed to move this? Everything changed with the cobweb nation attack. I didn't realize I was supposed to move the sampling again. I still think plant is right. The element appears to plant on the connection by something the element the plant needs. Oh, no, it didn't need you. Yes, I get that. I, I get that. I just don't understand how that correlates to the element of being old, the element of plants, or the element of mushroom. Is is mushroom life, or is it plant because it were old because it was burned down? The soul was weak. Ah, mushroom so is the element the of life. Not, you know, plant, grow. mushroom. Oh, sorry, this is the element of life. That's the element of grow, because mushrooms don't grow. They just kind of, like, spontaneously emerge. That's a different thing. They just appear. Mushrooms simply are. And purpose, but it needed time to become strong. Now we need the element of old. Well, my sampling is getting real big. It's kind of like that uh, part near the end of Sexy Brutal with the tree. Super interesting, honestly. That was a really good part. I'm Central Glad. How you doing? It grew stronger than any soul I have ever encountered. It was so powerful, so overwhelming. Now it's got a root and I can walk across it. Okay. Mushroom is a weird man, no one really understands. And then Fuck. there was darkness. My story ended, and another began. But that story is for another time. All that is left is to repeat the story again. Oh, sad accidental mermaid story time is over. Come to me, my man. Gather to hear my story. Scientists still trying to classify some of them. Really? This tale stops under the sea, in the home of my sister. But there's one thing people seem to be pretty good at, especially in the science department. It's putting shit in categories for like no reason. It's being like, oh, this is an X because because. Does it make any sense? Not really, but it goes there now. And then just realizing later, oh wait, that's super duper wrong. Well, I'm sure which torches are lit is probably relevant. Hey, you want to go check what's down there, Raptor? I guess this is the end of the line. I don't know. No one could make that jump and survive. Well, it's a good thing they're not even conscious. It would be foolish to even try. You gonna try it? <laughs> you look like a living cannonball. If anyone can survive it, it's probably you. <sighs> Okay. I'll see you later then. Have a nice day.
I guess we just... I thought the torches were... I saw these things in the distance and thought there was going to be some kind of, like, invisible bridge pattern. But I guess we're just fucking sending it. Cannonball! Oh, wait, hold up. Let me get some distance here. Let me get a good run and start. Make sure I got a good angle on this. Wait for it. Cannonball! I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Defending myself from low level. Okay, ass is to be hurty. Feels like your combat levels go fast as shit in this game. Got with some front hand back hand, you love to see it. Okay. Obligatory RPG whale stomach level. Yeah, he's already been hostile. Fuck him anyway. Yeah. Combat. Ah, uh, yeah. Back in. I don't know about the two-hander. Don't be seeming super hot. I'm occasionally stabbing people pretty good. Damn it! I left the guy on slab. going on forever. Okay, I'm no longer avoiding the acid. It does, like, no damage. <laughs> it's hard to back in. Pretty sure I can outheal the acid by just getting adrenaline from whacking everything and then letting it turn into regeneration. SMH no genocide run. Okay, well, we're bonking pretty good. Coral crossbow. I'm here to tell you I'm not geared for a ranged battle. You can Stop. tell by all the oh. You can't be here. This is our island. You need to get back on your ship. She doesn't like trespassers. You'll make her angry. Where are you, Princess Rudo? Do you need an escort out of here? We're not on an island. What are you talking about? Look around you. The waves lapping at the shore, the soft, soft sand. The fuck? A dragon ate you. How can I believe you, trespasser? Still, I will humor you. you. Whoever said they made me Zora esque mermaids, real fucking spot on as soon as we actually get to see the head. Very Zora. Super Zora, we're gonna help her get out of Jabu Jabu's belly. Then we'll see who is dreaming. Please don't. Drop dreams ballast and rise to air. Shed its darkness for morning glare. Let the sun. Gods. No. <laughs> no, this can't yeah, be. Good job, idiot. You fucking woke yourself up. What infernal place is this? I can not believe that I actually just woke her up. Who is responsible for this? Of horror? all the things I thought might happen, she's like, oh yeah, well, I'm going to sing the song of awakening. We'll see who's fucking sleeping. Uh. Oh my god, this is a horrible nightmare! What the fuck? <laughs> it was not on the list. You have no idea you got here? Wait. I remember. I was swimming in some caves. I found a soul that was so alone. Was it a dragon? Then it ate me. Yeah, it was a dragon. Gods. I wake from a dream to return to a nightmare. Why have you been asleep? No, it's better to see the world as it really is, even if I am trapped in this thing. You've also been stealing the souls of a shitload of villagers. No, I... Oh no, my song, 
I, I thought I was just on my island. I had no idea. I thought I was just sitting to the farmers and watching them beat each other to death. I didn't realize that, like... The dragon. She must have been using me to lure them here. That's why she kept me. A very me interesting, sleep. specifically developed dragon stomach muscle that you can use to, like, pump music out I of a siren. a small means of reparations, but my waking song has sent the other souls back to their bodies. Cool, so how do I leave? If you can let me out, I might be able to repay the favor and help you escape. There's a crossbow on the ground, so I'm not liking our chances. Not only am I in full iron armor, I have, like, a sieve enraged. <laughs> Okay, sure, deal. Sounds fine. I know an introduction won't help things, but my name is Remora. Okay. Didn't ask. When I was eaten by the dragon, I wore a necklace of some power. It should be able to help us get out of this night. You don't look like you have a necklace on. Thank you. I'm going to put an end to your witchcraft. What does this guy keep ending up here? Time to die. No. Please. It's not my fault. Literally, what are you going to do other than punch the... Oh, well, no, actually, if you punch it, maybe the dragon will throw up and then we'll be good. We call this the illusion of choice. This is the Bethesda special. And it, again, it, it just works. She didn't fucking do anything, dude. Innocent. Ha. I've seen the bodies. No. This has all been an accident, I swear. I had no idea. He's been asleep. That's better. Doesn't matter. You are still a monster. Oh, uh, okay. This guy's a card-carrying ham member. Is the only way to stop this happening again. We could also get her out of the dragon. That would also... How the fuck do we get out? What's your plan for leaving? That's right. If we can find my necklace, then I can teleport us out. All you have to do is get me out of here, and it's yours. But the murder hobo has arrived. <sighs> Fine. You get us out. And I'll let you live a bit longer. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. I don't... She's... Literally, where is she gonna go? I understand. Grab my crossbow from the floor. It should burst the cyst and release me. I wonder if I should just take off my be fucking... Be ready. I imagine that bursting it will not make the dragon I, happy. I don't like that I have a crossbow, because that heavily implies that I'm gonna want to do this with ranged. I didn't actually equip it, so I'll just sort out. Maybe that's just the quest reward? And they really do a good job of flavoring into the quest, getting your words, which is something that this game does. Like, RuneScape's always done super fucking well. Oh shit, it's Ulm! <laughs> We're skipping right the chambers, is Eric! Problem for future me. Okay. Well, now what? You do fairly well. There will be no more dead villagers. Very intense music for us hanging out in the field talking. And I have a new target. It will take great strength to break the dragon's neck. We even know where he is. But I will do it. Where, where? We don't even know where the dragon is. What a siren. For the best, power like that can be too dangerous. Okay, so how about the lady who hired us to do this? Not me. You should go. Let her know what happened. Extremely intense conversational it music. Was it was the sirens. She was. White knights say you can get more in the cave. Don't care for them myself. I prefer my flail. Okay. That was actually just extremely intense conversation music. Okay. Like, unironically, just extremely intense conversation music. Came up where Chambers? Well, Chambers is on Kurin, so it makes sense. 
I wonder how much, if any, of the stuff on Kurin was just moved there for old school. Because it was somewhere else in this game that old school didn't have. I cannot thank you enough. Wayland's a little groggy, but that's no different after a normal night's drinking. Thank you. Uh-huh. Quiet, Waylon. The adventurer doesn't need to hear your <laughs> drunken ramblings. Oh, well, this here's my husband, Waylon. He's woken back up. Oh, hello, nice to meet you. Shut the fuck up, Waylon! I have company! Go to your fucking closet! <laughs> We're in your debt. And you can be sure you won't <laughs> let him drink ever again. Mm, I wonder why this man has a drinking problem. Well, there, there's a source for that. <laughs> ah! Reduced incoming damage when fighting the Queen Black Dragon boss in the depths of the Grotworm Cave. There's a Queen Black Dragon now. We have like a spoiled prince black dragon or like a retired regent black dragon. Ah, help. I like, that's the thing that I like. The KVD got married. Their baby was a siren. Does this do anything? Oh, teleport. I kind of wanted to know where it was going to go. Oh, God. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs> Y'all have a nice fucking day. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'll put a warning on that one, maybe. Okay. Anyway, so we're not going there. That's the one <laughs> leave that place. I didn't want to go there anyway. It doesn't seem uh, yeah, that could that could stay down there forever. Um, <laughs> oh, thank God they're not aggressive. I wonder if they're not aggressive. <laughs> Three Vaughn's guest clicks and teleport, not knowing what it does. That would have been a great way to die. I mean, with the way RuneScape leveling works, it probably would have taken them... They wouldn't have immediately killed me. I don't know if there's another way out of there, but I feel like I would have had at least a little bit to run around the room in a panic, slamming rabbit sandwiches. The way that I've seen this, the, like, the leveling arc in this game work so far... I'd imagine they probably wouldn't be hitting more than half of my health, but I don't source, dude, just trust me. That's just the way it seems like damage scaling is working on enemies just by and large. Okay, so I have my first crossbow. 183, 160. Okay, so this charge bow is just like, do 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 cock. Um, that could probably just go in the trash forever. I think it's the quick bow is just better. He just, I think I'm just done with you. I'm gonna carry my bag slightly. All right, I have this. I forgot I have that. Put that on my body. That's just an upgrade. Okay, alive. Following a necklace into an unknown cave without an exit strategy. Yeah, that's going in the bank forever and we're never fucking touching it again. I also don't know if this thing can get aggro because I could have thrown this thing down. But I could have bought me some more time to run around while it's getting fucking consumed by a giant drought worm murder monster demon thing. Uh, okay. That was horrible. I feel like we've made like zero progress in the... We accomplished nothing. In this story. I guess we woke the guys up. We did what the quest was. We woke the dudes up. Quest completed. I'm combat 25. We probably would have been fine. 
I mean, the fact that I'm tunneling the shadow constitution definitely is gonna come in handy at some point, I'm sure. Did it say I'm not gonna move? It did. 24 I got in sight. Which is taunt. Cool. I'm never gonna use that. There's ults that heal you? Well, these also tell you how to unlock them. Demon Slayer. 10 seconds of 15% increased damage against demons. Every minute that I could just pop, that's kind of cool. Oh, it did actually put it on my bar. Yeah, you can get off my bar, though. Thank you. You can just go ahead and go anywhere else. Neat. Ah. There's a bunch of specific ones. Limitless. Limitless will let you pop a threshold without being there. Oh, there's some interesting, like, combos. Instantly respawn any Curadol's dungeon monsters you kill. What the fuck? There's some interesting stuff in here. Deal 10,000% of your Slayer level is damage to your Slayer target. I mean, that's... That seems neat. <laughs> Die! Gone. I didn't think Constitution was going to have attacks in it. This has got attacks. I thought we'd see shit like this. Like things that are a heal. This is an ult that heals you. This is just Bide from Pokemon Red. This is literally just Bide from Pokemon Red. Okay. Onslaught. Hit a guy. Add 33% damage for 26 hits. This... This just says kill yourself. Like this, this literally just says kill yourself. What the fuck? This is just kill yourself. 26 hits. Each hit costs 25% adrenaline. So you get four. And then you hit yourself for one quarter of the damage you deal for the next 22 hits. And after the 10th hit, you hit yourself for a thousand. Okay, this is just commit. You just press. <laughs> you want to see how fast I can kill myself? Blip. I'll just fucking die immediately. I should put Cease on these bars. Cease is probably useful for things. Well, there's shield abilities. Damage equal 10% of your shield's armor value plus your defense level. How do you actually hit them with your fucking defense level? There's a bunch of shield abilities. Oh! Oh, this is like taunt taunt. There's a PvP taunt! That's cool. PvP taunts are nice. Not that I care about PvP in this game, but like it's there. Each stack dealt you increases your max damage by 10%, stacks with 10 times. What the fuck? There's some great shield attacks. Reduce all damage taken by 25% for 30 seconds. If you die, don't. Shields are fucking awesome! What the hell? Remove all stuns and binds, clear dots, immune to stuns and binds for six seconds. Ooh, that's PvP trinket, okay. Reduce damage strength by 50%, reduce damage is hit. Jeez, what the fuck? Shields are fucking amazing! Look, this is the fucking dog shit I'm doing with two any weapons. Literally just this and it sucks balls. Give me a fucking shield, dude. What the hell? Shields are awesome. Block the next attack. Heal for half the all of the... Block the next attack. 
That is the end of the sentence. Block the next attack. Powerful attacks will be blocked, but won't heal you. This is only on a 30 second cooldown. We have a 30 second cooldown of just, nope. Just next attack? Nope. Oops. I ran under Hunliff. Nope. I uh, can't get out of the floor in time. Nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I got our... <laughs> so Ragnus' children are up. Nope. Okay. Oh, no. Dusk is doing that stun if you're looking at him. Nope. Like... <laughs> oh, this rock pattern's weird. Nope. Like, that's, that's amazing. This, this ability alone. Can we hop our equipping things? Can I hop our like six is put on my shield shift six is resonance. So I can just be like, pop, pop and just resonance fucking anything. No matter what I have in my hands at the moment. Is that a thing? You can and will. Oh, I fucking will. That's there's not a question. If I can, I absolutely will. Oh man, I'm gonna have fucking 27 hot bars. Holy shit. Okay. See, that's gonna be like a F is equip shield, shift F is resonance kind of thing. So it's just like pap pap, throw on my shield and block something immediately. This is super interesting. This. This right here is as impactful to like the way the game is designed and the way that you approach it as a player and like the things that you can do. This is as impactful as protection prayers existing in the first place. Like this is something that its, its existence has to be designed around. So seeing that this is a thing there is no doubt in my mind that, I was going to say late game, but probably even mid game bosses have abilities that if not, you literally have to resonance them. The intended response is that you resonance them. Like you have to design around this, especially when you're getting into like high level content, you literally have to design around this. You can't put this in the game and just let it sit there. So I'm going to guess Again, it's it's on like the protection prayers tier. That's fucking awesome. I might just sword and board. Fuck this like two ending and dual wielding shit. I might literally just sword and board. It's been like bash and revenge. Oh, well, this is interesting on account of the implication. Three bonds did not use resonance. Three bonds resonance was on cooldown. <laughs> Increase the effectiveness of protection prayers to 100%. That's an interesting sentence because of the implication. You know. How it implies that they don't. That's not what they are. Oh shit, I just almost thought my water over. That implies that that's not what they are normally. <laughs> ah. Somewhere in the last 15 years, between 2007 and 2022, we realized how comically limited our design space was after we added protection prayers and that they probably should never have been a thing and they definitely should not have existed in the state that they are. There was somewhere clearly in the old school RuneScape design where they realized they could just have bosses ignore them and then they can like, you know, design anything. AOE taunt. These are so cool. These are so fucking cool. <laughs> Heal a 30 or health over 10 seconds. Restore literally all your drain stats. Just... Bam. <laughs> to be fair, that's like click potion, click second potion. At a certain point in the game, but still, that is a five-minute cooldown. Yes, 
That's an ult, so it takes all your... That might actually not be very good, because that's what potions are for. Well, to be fair, I've seen exactly one potion in this game, and it literally is increase attack by one. So potions might just be, like, total dog shit in RuneScape 3. Kick a guy. He does 50% less damage now. Almost a 50% uptime with a max level shield. <laughs> nope. Oh, sorry. I wasn't clear. Nope. Nope. <laughs> No, 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 Oh, that's some shit. That's some shit's what that is. That's some fucking shit right there. Okay. I had to take a break. But before I do, if you weren't here in the beginning, if you haven't heard, if you ain't been new, we're doing a giveaway themed around this run. I just started playing RuneScape 3 last week never played it before obviously i'm sitting here reading abilities having my fucking mind blown this is amazing uh but i'm a hardcore iron man and at some point that's probably gonna stop happening so over in my discord server discord.gg slash squidish we have a three bonds channel where you can place your best guess as to what exactly or less exactly is going to lead to me Losing this neat helmet. We did this in old school and gave away three bonds to whoever had the most accurate guess, but thanks to uh, Thurlow's generosity, we have a much bigger prize pool this time, and we're going to have up to three winners. First, second, and third place. You can make your guess as specific or as broad as you want. The most specific correct guess is the winner, and then broadening it out from there for second and third place. You can win up to potentially... Like, seven bonds worth of fucking GP, thanks to Thurlow. Even in third place, you're still getting a bond. This is up through Dragon Slayer. If I'm still alive at the end of that, we'll open the pool back up for everyone to throw in another guess. So you don't have to think about the entire spectrum of RuneScape experiences. You're just thinking about more or less the early game. But I'm going to take a break. I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs, grab some snacks real quickly. Back in a couple of minutes. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. If you're lurking, want to throw an emote in the chat right here? Posting anything makes Twitch count. He's an active viewer. Super helps me out on the back end. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I also super appreciate all forms of y'all support from just hanging out in the chat. You do. I said pause, music. I said pause. Chill your shit, please. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. How y'all doing? Almost the commercials should be over for everyone because I'm still kind of like used to ads running on the break and not this new... What is all this shit? I have an unclaimed monthly drop. Oh, what? There's so many things in this. What is this? God oddments. That's probably just what they are. Right, I definitely just bought a year of membership. <laughs> That's what this is, right? This is the... This is the I <laughs> bought a year of fucking membership. <laughs> so, look, I'm not addicted. You're addicted. 
I'm not fucking addicted. I didn't play this for like a week and then immediately just go buy a year's subscription because I said, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing this for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Uh Let's see what augments do. They sell a bunch of the costume stuff at the seasonal thing for them. It's like, uh, I understand it's like, w with the 15 years of development this game has had over 2007 Escape, there is a lot of good things that have happened, of course. You know, the game is playable and pretty and has real combat systems and, like, a ton of super interesting shit. Um... But it's also, like, the microtransaction riddled hellhole that basically every MMORPG is these days. Which I understand I'm apparently avoiding most of by being an Iron Man. I'm apparently juking a whole lot of the, uh... What the fuck is a Gathixian cache? Is that one of these things at the beach the teleporter to? Every one of these that I've tried has been, like, at least beneficial and generally useful for whatever other than the one that I couldn't use. The, uh, sinkhole or whatever. I think these are just all, like, shooting star-esque shit. Okay, I saw all these and pooped my pants a little bit. Is this a divination thing? I have no idea what I'm doing. There's a thing. Both your hands speed came at me, okay. Divination level of 85. What do I what do you do? Tiny memory? I literally have Redivination, so it's probably tiny memories. So I just throw them in here, I guess. It's a transform statue. Am I trying to avoid these guys? Yes, okay. They just have a weird range, like everything else in these minigames. Alright, so we're juking the lads. Throwing our shit in the memory hole. I am a thing now. What does the thing do? Yes, really, I'm a thing. Probably can't hold this either because I have like three thingies. I don't take a memory. What do I do with this? Oh, I punch people. Ah, okay, I punch. You do combat. Okay, the fiery one is particularly angry. But I can get the other ones. Confused angry? Yeah, he's angry. So I can get the ancient guys. Okay. I don't... There was a panel that had, like... will look to be information on this current room. I don't know how to get that back because I opened my inventory to look at something. I don't know how to get back to that screen. Okay, it doesn't seem like it matters. Seems like it's relatively straightforward. Just run all the shit past the guys into the middle. Everyone fell over. Everyone went to sleep. How do I get that scoreboard back, chat? How do I get, like, the info? I feel like that was relevant information, but I had to switch over to unequip the sword in my hand. Ah, idiot. You're too late! You stupid, stupid head. Honestly, don't know have the same issue when I accidentally close it. Click the arrows in your backpack, chat. Ah, okay. I get through here? Oh, there go. He's mad. Okay, give me the Oh, I have a cooldown. I see. I have a Krez statue cooldown.
So I'm getting credit both for slapping nerds and for converting statues. So if somebody has a statue, I guess I don't super also need to be a statue. But like when they wear off, we got two people, yeah. So now I just run shit like crazy. I think double points, one charge. Is that a thing I should do? What does that cost? What does that cost something? I feel like I should wait until I'm a statue first. Because I'll get way more when I'm a statue, because I can slap the shit out of people. Statue goes to the fucking ultimate slapping mode. This is definitely way better. This is way better than familiarization, which is just the worst thing ever. I think of the random like world event skilling things so far, I do like this one the most. Oh, they just fucking closed the door. Yeah, they just fucking closed up. Oh, everyone fell over. I'm a statue. Oh, I see. There's a subdue all automatons, but I'm throwing hands. I can only get the ancients. That's fine. Well, that's 12 seconds of double points. All right. We want to just like get that and go nuts. Definitely something to use with the statue for sure. That shows me how much time I have with the thingy too. Punch. Punch. It's not super good at like tracking. I don't know how I get charges for these things. I don't know how I get a charge for just like fuck everybody button. Fuck everybody button? Perfect. Okay. This is actually cool. Oh, this is actually really cool. I like this one. I like this one a lot more. Run energy is about to become a huge problem. Oh, I thought that was somebody in one. Just walk for a bit and get some energy back. Actually, I can just rest, right? Just sit down, get all this shit back. This is RuneScape 3. We can just get run energy. I ain't got no fucking stamina potions yet. Just on the floor and hang out. So these are separate between your two things. There are two forms. So I'm gonna... Right to running, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna run. Turn on Duble. I would last a good deal longer when you're just walking, and then I'll activate immunity while I have this up if someone pops up my way. Okay. I just go bonk. We can get like two. We can get two realistically while we're in there. And then we go bong. This is a fun one. This one's got mechanics and you like do stuff. Give me tiny memories. I have literally three divination. Can I activate my immunity? Nobody can touch me. I have the immunity idol. You guys suck balls. You guys suck balls. Give me this. Fuck, I'm not gonna get there in time. Get in the middle. And then go be a robot. I was trying to come fucking touch me, stupid idiot. Give me the robot. All right, now I'm Hands McGee. I'm the only Hands McGee. So I'm going to turn on double. And just throw all the fucking hands in the universe. I'm learning. Chad, they, they said he was incapable of learning. But he's doing it. He's figuring out absolutely any fucking clue of what he's doing. Tom and a ton. Touch. 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 
Touch. Touch. So you want to go into statue mode literally as much as you can because you get points so much faster. Can I get a subdue all? I probably should have saved this, this for when I had subdue all and I could do both. I'm not sure what gives me charges though. I don't know if I will get a subdue all. I did not. Let's see if I can get one more of these out of here. Fire guy left, so that's good. Just about to end. Just pop everything you got. How the, the fucking how does this exist in the same universe as familiarization? Oh, one more. Fuck. Oh shit! We're getting yeeted! <laughs> Well, damn. <laughs> so that's how you level that skill. Um, in case anyone was curious, that's... That's how that skill is leveled. What the fuck? I went from 3 to 15. Three to fucking 15. Okay. And I got a diviner's robe. Okay, so there's a lot of skilling sets. Might want to put those at the top of this as a skilling sets. Be just like the first chunk here, because I think I have shaman's leggings. I'll put those here. I'll put the skilling sets here at the top of costumes. Okay. Solid. Okay, I gotta read all this stuff that popped up. For completing a Dixie and Cash with 68 points. You receive 2,380 divination experience. Run for your dedication. You get a diviner's outfit. Calling boost for 13 minutes. 10% chance when using a divine location to gain double loot. 10% chance you can sign of the porter. The charge will not be consumed. 10% chance when converting memories at a rift. You convert your entire inventory in one go. I wasn't planning on going and leveling divination right now, and I'm still not going to do that. All right, next. So what's fish flingers then? Fish flingers is another one of these portals. I know I saw that one. So what's fish flingers? These games are nuts. These things are fucking bananas. You do it twice a day, as long as you get a total of 100 points. That was like a 100 point cap. Boy, there sure is a lot of like daily and weekly stuff in this game. Like a lot. Reminds me of Wrath of the Lich King. Hi. How do I do this? Competition starts in three minutes. How does this work? We found Clement Heron at the lake. I don't like leaping insects, particularly brown ones. Okay. How does this work? Hey, let me tell you. What are we doing? So, well, you can catch fish by choosing the best tackle and habitat. Yeah, we talked this. Okay, it's unusual fish. How do I catch fish? The gates open. Heron at any shoreline where you'd like to fish. You can fish at either of the docks, lake to the north. River east of the lake and the beach to the far northeast. So like the hook and bait you think the fish will like. Add some weights to get the catch. What the fuck? Okay, this is Bass Pro Hunter. Okay. Catch fish will be shown to affect your tacklers. It will make improvements to the only which fish likes. If a species of different sizes, you need to try fishing in different areas to find the heaviest species. Fish are adaptable creatures. Tackle works one well in one competition. Okay, yeah, that's random every time. Um... Okay. Wait, hold on. What? Okay, how... How many tickets every day? Oh, okay. I have two. I just got ten tickets. 
Uh, what do you say? Clam and her into the lake. They're like leaping insects, particularly brown ones. I noticed that nobody's here. I noticed that there were like four or five people in the Guthix cache. There were like 15 in Big Chin Champa. There's like 20 around the beach and there are zero other people in Big Chin I uh, take it people don't like this one as much. Or specific world for fish flingers. Oh. Well, I'll go embarrass myself on the specific world later. I literally have no concept of how this works. So I would like... I don't even know what the goal is. Is the goal to just catch one biggest fish? Or is the goal to like get as many of the different types of fish with the right combos. I don't even know what the fucking objective of this shit is. I'm just gonna go throw shit in the water and see what happens. <laughs> and I'm the only one here, so I guess I win by default. And then we'll figure out what the hell we were supposed to do. But I'm also the worst. I just wanna see it. I wanna try it. This is interesting. Hey, Bren! I just heard Bren. I guess I didn't disturb Bren, never mind. Oh. Okay. Whoa. I feel so informed. So much knowledge. This does look kind of like Mastermind. Okay. 33. 33. 66. You likey that one. Oh, there's multiple combinations of weights. 83. That's oh, just three, so it's still gonna be 83. Range four. Okay. So I got a hundred, so that's like, oh, okay, that's good. Discovered one of the tackles for the lake. What the fuck? Okay. All right, next thing. Pike 33. Pike 33. Pike 33. Pike 33. Like 50. Go Pike 50. Oh, that's okay. You don't like, don't like EK. You want short cast. What kind of pairing? What the fuck? How do I fucking raise this higher? Ye send this shit. Send this shit to space. Wait, 21 to 76 is all still a 50? Yeah, we let's catch his herring. Okay, if you go too far, just catch his herring. Are these like categories? Like, are these similar? We have most of a pike set up. Maybe I'm on a wrong bait. That's better. That's better. Okay, so there's a variety here. There's a lot of crossover. Catching pike, you don't like it so much. There's some moths. Do 
He's got a light class, right? Eighty-three. I'm gonna get higher than eighty-three. Is it like distance two? No, yeah, he wants short. So he wants super short distance. Is this hook better than the previous hook? Let me get one more. Okay, solid. Okay, so that's two. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a fucking lot of stuff here. Okay, so just because a hook makes you go up doesn't mean it's the best hook. Get the ready's one in the top left to make some things clearer. Oh, there's six total. There were just two in the lake. There's two in the river. One at the docks, one at the beach. Okay, so they don't all have two. Okay, so this is 50 already. We just came right in with a fucking 50. Still 50. Which tells me we're not even hitting great bait, I don't think. Still 50. Oh, what do you like? What do you like, little shit? Nothing. He's never enjoyed food in his life. This bass has never eaten anything. 83. Cast that shit a little further. Cast that shit a little less far. Yeah, he's a fucking master. He's mastered the game. He's mastered the fucking game. Um, okay. There was a second river, though, which I'm going to guess is out further. Distance seems to get you swapping. I'm guessing it gives you the highest, like whatever fish you match the most. Still fucking 50s. What the hell? Let's get off the bass bait. Salmon. Here we go. Salmons. Okay, we're catching salmons now. Oh, he like of the he like of the magoo. Let's cast slightly this far. That didn't count. Cast it slightly this far. Okay, we want max distance. Start swapping hooks. Three, we can do better. We can do better. Probably. I feel like it's a hook. Better just isn't actually the best bait. There's a better bait. Oh, better bait. Okay. You're switching baits. He liked uh, the maggots. But he like us uh, something else more, question mark? Probably not shrimp. Shrimp is already the best. I don't know if that's a thing to consider. What? It's about 83s. The fuck up! <laughs> Helmst! Surely reducing the range even further is not gonna do it. That's gonna switch us to bass, if anything. I don't understand. What haven't we tried? We've literally tried everything. <laughs> what? Can I put two baits? Have we not tried literally everything for the salmon? I don't understand. I know that this is like depleted or whatever. Okay, this is 83. Either of these is 83. Less weight only makes it worse. 
Every hook is worse. These two are equal. Every hook with this is worse. And anything other than like full weight is worse. Just out of raw curiosity, I'm just gonna throw it a fucking weight one, see if it even catches the salmon. I don't I don't know. I've literally tried everything. Like I I unironically think I have tried every single combination. I don't know what I haven't done. We can go to the beach now. We got one to the beach now. We got one minute. Okay, literally just didn't catch anything. Everything's wrong. See what we got, right? A wooga. Guess they're switching hooks. Gonna wait four. No, fucking it didn't register the three. Come on. We range the four. Nope, it's range three. If we get better than 50 off a hook. Come on, catch a fucking trout. Catch a magical beach trout. The rare saltwater trout. I got a ticket. There was a ticket inside that fish. Oh, come on. I picked green moth. I feel, I'm feeling green moth. Didn't switch in time anyway. Motherfucker. I don't know if it was last tech or wrong bait. Oh, we got it! Woo! <laughs> last case, boys! Last case! Okay. We got 22 fish tokens. We got our trout on the actual last throw. What does the fish token do? I don't know. I imagine let's just use the shore. All right, I'm a winner. All right, what the fuck was up with the salmon? Does, does anyone... The gate is open for anyone to tell me what the fuck I did wrong with the salmon. Like, what I missed. Any range lower than six just made it worse, unless it's like a curve and it's like great at six, bad at five, and great at four or something, which doesn't make any fucking sense. You never tried the first bait? I never tried the first bait? There's no way. I went through the baits and the hooks like four times. There's no way I never tried the first bait. Ah. This is where angler comes from now. I never used the first bait, really? All the time we were up there and I never used the first bait. Oh, that's interesting. Hackle box. So that is actually a pog fucking hat. That's a great fucking hat. Okay, well that one is like Really, like, infuriating timed mastermind. That's what that is. That's that's absolutely infuriating hard time, hard time limit mastermind. I don't know about that one. I don't know if I like fish flingers that much. It's not bad. It's not familiarization, which is the worst thing in the world. What are shooting stars like in this game? Even, oh, they even kind of look the same. Level one. The level one poo poo star. Well, I'm still getting stardust. Oh, so they just straight eated this shit out of Runescape 3. Okay. It even looks the same. I didn't realize it was gonna like be visually identical. 
This feels like... I don't know if I'm wrong, and I'm just misjudging numbers really hard. This feels like weirdly good XP. For being, like, a level one... Dumpster star? Like, it's not amazing, but it feels like it's better than it should be. As a group, people can share the fish answers. That's true, yeah. I guess that's why there's a fish, fling fish flinger's world. You go into the world and people just say... I was gonna say people say, like, cricket double hook four. But people will probably say, like, A5 underscore star star 39 carat alpha greek pi 7 sdd 9 uppercase t slash slash 9 1 and then that's like universally understood code by all the people on the fish flingers world now we might have less destroyed star 52 52 i'm selling my tier 4 i have like 10 mining i have like 30 mining actually i probably can't mine a four Okay, well, where am I? Who the fuck are we? Ah, we're a relica. There's a lodestone. Cool. <laughs> Solid. Easiest lodestone of my life. Okay, well, that'll get used someday, probably. So what do we have left? Broken Home is up next. Broken Home is in Faroque. 2014. 2014, you say? Okay. Now I can be Fremenix. Ha <laughs> ha! No. Fuck Fremenix. Also, I have 27 construction entirely from sandcastles. I did some sandcastles. When I got on, I was doing Blender stuff. It was happy hour. So happy hour is not specifically 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. There are several happy hours. Because it was like 11 in the morning and it was happy hour. West. This isn't West. It was like 11 a.m. and it was happy hour. So I just hunted ducks for, as you can clearly see, a long time. And then I just continued hunting ducks unless the spotlight was on sandcastles. In which case, I did sandcastles. I figured that was probably, like, the only thing I had that was a safe grind. And by that, I mean that I could do without worrying about discovering something insane or dying or spoiling some crazy shit. But apparently it's a level 250 fucking murder lobster that shows up in the middle, so dying is entirely possible. I lost track where I was going. Why don't I distract the fucking quest? Not active. Mansion northeast. It was east. I can't read. I don't know directions, but I also can't read. It's like a double compounding problem. I wonder if the Fremenic names are the same. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if I'll still be Dalton. I don't know. We'll find out eventually. Someday. Okay, what is this building? Why is there a sword on there? Need the combat scroll. A beginner's guide to killing things by Ali Morrison. Step one, choose your target. Step two, hit it. Step three, go to step two. Ah. Now I know the secret of combat. All right, good. We're unstoppable. I'm ready for this quest. I'm fucking unstoppable now. Can't be stopped. This is uncomfortably close to Tolna's Rift. Oh, I can catch this. A bowstring. That was really just why I wanted Hunter XP. I wanted to be able to grab fucking Ebling. I can't believe this is still here. This is like... Big side looks fucking sick and has a giant cave. This... In all... of the video games I have ever played... In all of the fantasy worlds I've ever experienced, this might be the most ill-fitting thing I've ever seen. Right outside of Varrock, there's just, you know, a giant hole to the nightmare dimension. It's just there. 
right next to a very well-traveled path from the museum to the dig site. And an old school has literally the one NPC that's doing anything in the entire game. It's just here. For basically no reason, and nobody talks about it. It is the dumbest thing I think I've seen. I don't see where I'm going. My active, my tracker disappeared. I have apparently started the quest. Well, that doesn't look like a mansion. Oh. Oh, shit, there's a mansion on this side. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Please, you have to help me. What's up? The house, there's a g g g ghost. It's killing everyone. Please, you have to help. Well, it says combat none, so I am guessing a gooby doo situation here. Ingram's the owner of the mansion. He's still in there. Seems like he found something while exploring the levels below the basement, which is just, you know, what nobody should ever do in a fantasy universe. I don't know, there seems to be some kind of energy surrounding the house. I wasn't able to take any items in or out is what we're going to use to explain the fact that I'm going to make you not do that. <laughs> just at the steps, be careful. Do I have to actually go to the bank or can you just like hold this shit while I'm doing the quest? Guys, you literally, this is a solved problem. This is a solved, you have solved this in the 2007 version of your game. How, how does the modern version have this problem? The, the WoW Classic 2007 scape, which has updated three times in eight years to add the three things that pass the poll ever. Does, has, has overcome this great feat of technological prowess to not do this shit. How can you not do it? Just fucking paddling this guy. Bonk. Bonk. Copper stone and spirit. Okay, so I guess like literally everyone that just would drop copper drops those instead. Cool. Make a bank booth. The maid could deposit your stuff. This has changed no words of my prior statement. This is a solved problem in the classical 2007 version of your game. Why is it a problem here? Why do I have to talk to the maid? When I interact with the door, you offer to take my coat. I graciously accept and hand you like 16 sardines. And then we both go about our business. Do you have solved this? The inferior game that isn't allowed to do quality of life updates has solved this. <laughs> it's not acceptable to have as a problem. That's okay. I didn't bank my armor, so I forgot my armor. Would you like all of my armor? You lied to me. Oh, there's a deposit box, I see. See, the secret is that it's literally the same color as everything right next to it, so... You can't see it literally at all. It's not the maid so much as there's a deposit box. Which, I will take zero two perceptions, because that is that blends in with this so well, literally nobody in chat said anything, including the guy that already knows that you could do this. <laughs> Painted pink <laughs> or some shit. Right. On today's things I heard while well, tabbed out for Runescape's team, you take my coat and I give you 16 sardines. Oh, hello, horrible fucking child. <laughs> Okay. We'll not be able to place my map of the house, which is crucial for navigation to find locked doors. All the doors feature a peek option. If you think something dangerous is behind a door, you should peek first. 
If I fucking lose my hardcore status in this quest, I'm gonna be upset. I just want you to know that. Oh, it's Booze Hot from Mario 64. I've seen this one. Pika. Looks fine to me. Three bonds didn't peek the door. I feel safe in this room. Progress will only be saved when you enter certain save rooms. If you die, lock out, or leave, you'll be returned to your last save point. What the fuck? Okay. This is like Resident Evil. I'm interested. Hands are this is just a Resident Evil. Okay. Ooh, delicious mystery meat. Peak door. I can't see shit through there. I'm not going in there. I can't see shit. Forgot I have Squibbot insult me when I get here. It makes me giggle every time. I read the first part of that sentence. Like, I forgot I have Squibbot insult me. Like, bitch, you're the one who picked it. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> Ow. Ah. So it's not fixed. We have like a Mr. X situation. If you don't peek the door, X will in fact give it to you. Ah, uh, hallway. Where's voltage on the other side? Okay. Maybe I can't go around then. So we know. I mean, there's no way somebody got in here. There's only one. They have to come in through this guy unless there's like other dudes. Also, I feel safe in this room. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go. Of course. Heh! Idiot! You got to be quicker than that, bitch! You got to be quicker than that! Okay. Oh, you could. The door's kind of like gassy. I want to unlock it. I don't want to go in. I just don't want to be locked anymore. Can I unbolt this? Okay, cool. That's all I wanted to do. But surely he's not in here then, because he's out there. I'm gonna look anyway. Lock is a picture of a skull engraved on the handle. Okay. This is a neat quest. I lost track of which way we were going. Oh, uh, we're going this way. Ika? Hello? You look like a human person. Hello? A new hand touches the beacon. <laughs> Peach out, thank you for the follow. You. Don't get me, don't get me, don't get me, don't get me. <laughs> thank you. I have a key? I literally have nowhere else to go. Oh shit, there's another red dot in there. Hold on, there's another red dot in this room. Clock hands! Ooh. Okay, I gotta really look at the mini-map for dots, because, like, that shit was fucking invisible on the floor. Okay, and then we're gonna go back this way. I have clock hands! Feel safe in this room. I think that means that, like, he will never be in this room. Clock hands? Clock. Pop the hands into the clock face. Fuck up is reveal an eye gem. So I have a raven key. And I have an eye gem. Alright, let's go somewhere else. I'm gonna go outside, and if, like, Mr. Peterson's on the other side of the room, I'm just gonna click the door really fast. We've already established that if you have a fucking quickness, you can slap back through the door before the ghost actually hits you. There may be other threats as well, but I ain't no fucking bitch. Cool. That's apparently the Raven key door. Oh, well, I can't do that one on account of I have a corporeal body, but I can see the Scooby-Doo Oh, no, it's just the way the tiling works. Fair enough. Excuse me. If you're quick enough, X will, in fact, not give it to you. Oh, 
I have some notes. This must be how Orman's staff felt all those years ago, as he hunted them from room to room and slew them one by one. Now he repeats that macabre dance once more, and my staff and I are his unwilling partners. There's no way out. All the doors and windows are sealed, made lethal by his fury. There's a second ghost, a little boy. I believe this to be Orman's son, whom he lost to some tragedy. Perhaps the son holds the key of the father, but I cannot communicate with him. I have one hope. There's a sealed door in the basement. Perhaps it leads to an escape, or perhaps there's something down there which can put the old ghost to rest. Okay, so we're following the kid, and we're looking for the basement. Excuse me. Next thing will give me shit. That looks like it has an eyeball icon on it. You need to have at least 10 in all skills to open this chest. Ah! So I also need 80 smithing, crafting, and divination. Well, I'm not particularly concerned with that one there. That can go ahead and stay there. Is this just fucking Rambos? Don't do it. Second book puzzle pile topple over the third book doesn't seem right either. What's the lesser known cousin of Roy G. Biv? Rio G. Biv. Third looks right. Red, blank, orange. Okay, it's not rainbow. Red, blank, orange. Check. We are still on red, blank, orange. We are still... Red, blank, orange is a powerful foe, to be certain. Red... Purple, orange, not green, not blue. Red, purple, orange, not green, not blue. Fuck. Red, purple, orange, not green, not blue. Ah, red, purple, orange, white, yellow, green, blue. Red, purple, orange, Red, purple, orange, white, yellow, green, blue. I have made a bookshelf. See, I can remember things. I have three eye gems now. This is more eye gems than I thought we were going to have. I definitely find myself with a strange surplus of eyeball-shaped gems. All right, do it, pussy. Look, he's out here. We're going to test our strats, all right? See you, bitch. <laughs> That actually despawns him, so we can just go about our business without having to worry about the spooky man. It's got some sexy brutal energy for sure. This looks so weird. It's got some sexy brutal energy, and that it doesn't actually matter if there's bad shit in the room because you have plenty of time to just turn on and fucking leave. It's a lot of doors. Find yourself trapped or unable to complete. Oh my god, what? They look complete the puzzle to the way you push statues. You can right click one to reset the room. Oh. No. Oh, it's a block puzzle. Gross. We have very few options so far. Oh, there's like, there's literally only one way to break yourself. It's that second push. The only way to break yourself is to not be paying attention on the second one. And that's just the only thing you can possibly do 50 times in a row. What are we making, a Hydra? How many fucking eyes do we need? We got 50 bazillion eyeball gems. I'm gonna open the chest so it can tell me I'm too much of a fucking noob baby. So like, you're the one who told me to do this quest, recommended guide. Where's jam shut? All right upstairs we go. Can I peek the stairs? I'm more concerned about peeking the stairs, honestly. There's definitely a door downstairs we didn't go into. I 
There's two children's. Ah, that's more children than I thought we had. Well, follow the weird ghost children. Hello, weird children. What are you kids up to? I'm fucking lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Hello. Fucking dark in here. Ingram's research notes. In the mansion for a month now, what I've learned of my ancestor Ormod confuses me greatly. I've unearthed nothing so far about the supposed horrors committed within these walls, but I found a great deal about the obsession that consumed him in his later years. And it took him, or at least he believed that it did. It so debilitated him during most of his waking hours that he found it quite impossible to function without aid. What little lucidity he had remaining was dedicated to with him to secure himself of the curse, seemingly without success. Ormod's riches were made in the trade of runes, and it was through magic he looked for a solution. Found scattered fragments of a spell he up to create or perhaps recreate. Knowing his eventual fate, it seems unlikely he succeeded in the goal. Also, there's a spider key. Also, there's a fragment of Ormod's spell. The kids have been playing the Fortnite? I didn't come in this way, did I? Nope, sure, sure didn't, because it's fucking bolted. All right, out we go. Oh, we got a key. Thank you, small children. So I haven't done this offshoot here. I haven't seen Ormond in a while. We're just running around. Picture of a noose. Okay, we gotta come back here with the kill yourself key. I don't have that one yet. Okay. Alright, so clearly this is not the way that I got here, and I'm just totally fucking lost. I thought I was going back to the stairs. Well, we have unlocked the shortcut, so that's good. We've made it in some degree of a circle. Just kidding, there was actually only... Oh, secret door. Snick. It's so like, I thought I saw a red, another red mark over here. Okay, so we have cleared everything we can at the bottom floor right now. I should probably touch the save room, I guess. If this isn't an intentional love letter to, like, classic Resident Evil, I don't know what is. You literally have save rooms. Like, they didn't do this shit on accident. They just made Resident Evil as a quest. Which is cool. Scythe. God, there's so many. Oh my god, there's so many keys. Okay, I need this. I have the spider. I need the scythe, the snake, and the kill yourself keys. I have the spider. Oh no. Oh, there's the spider door. Uh-oh, it's a spooky man. Bye, idiot. <laughs> like... God damn it. Can you stop being everywhere I want to go, please? I'm glad he just... Sorta despawns. <laughs> oh, there's another... Come on, man! Get a key. Such just setting his hands rigor mortis we're gonna set in. Yes. Ah, yes, an eye gem. Dude, I'm just following this dude. He keeps going into a new room and I just like oh shit, he's stuck in the bathroom now. Does he just despawn or is he stuck in there? Are we good? I poke my head in the hallway, and he's like, YOU MOTHERFUCKER! And I'm like, oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Going to the bedroom. <laughs> he's like, DARN oh, BLESSED! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> come into the bathroom. I'm a nuisance. I need a spell. Hello! Shuffling on the other side of the curtain, but can't be sure what it is. Yeah. Ooh. You don't have a face. A face with no face. Hello? You still have ears. Hey, you got anything? Statue. I don't even. It's, there's a, also apparently statue. I haven't even found a statue door. All right, you have a nice day. I'm going to leave you to your business. 
Good luck with the face thing. I guess I'll go do this one first then. Like if I eat a salmon, stab wounds. God damn it. Uh, hello again. Hi. I know I'm really fucking annoying, but please stop going to the room that I need to explore. Thank you. Okay. Hello. A tiny child ghost. Hello, tiny child ghost. Oh, goodbye, tiny child ghost. Good talk. Ah, statue key. Cool. Okay, I'm making progress. I open the door. We're using keys. Yep, that's a statue. That's the thing that it said. Uh, okay, I'm going to need a 57th eye gemstone. We're definitely going to build like an entire beholder. Oh, I guess it makes more sense that there's just like multiple things that we're going to be putting the eye gems into that we're going to be putting like 15 eye gems in the one thing. But, you know, I kind of just figured I feel like it wasn't an unreasonable assumption. Ah, it's the eyeball check. All right. Well, I got a bunch of eyeballs. Number of eyeballs I have is divisible by two, which makes me feel a little more confident about the amount of eyeballs that I have. Fuck. <laughs> There's another door here that I'm going to guess is locked. Okay, so there's two more. Some point in the future, there's going to be at least two more eye gems. I just noticed it now. I was wondering why the movement was so weird. It's because you don't open these doors like you open regular doors. You have, like, the from one tile away, completely fixed Resident Evil 1 door animation. Husks. The literal animation for opening doors is a fucking reference. The only thing they could have done was instead of... Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat. The only thing they really could have done beyond that would be if instead of fading to black, it had, like, fucking door. Then, but that would take just take 20 minutes and it would suck. Okay, where are we going? We've we been here. Oh, that's the doll door. Okay. Um, that's the bedroom. So this is back out. The scythe is back at the main hall, question mark? The scythe is back in the main hall. You go at the save room just in case. I'd like to save now, please. I gotta be careful poking the ghost. Because health regeneration is like near zero. Actually, there's a prayer for that, huh? Never mind. <laughs> I just wanted to use prayer for literally the first time in RuneScape 3 because I remembered that it exists. You were the side door. Haha, see, I remember things. I know stuff. Lots of doors. Okay. Start here. Very small cupboard. I don't see anything interactable. Okay. Good talk. We call those a closet. That's dagger. Who is it? Who's there? Uh, hi, I'm Cassandra Lee. I'm doing a quest. No! Monster! Get away! I'm not a monster. I'm trying to deal with the spooky ghost. You can't! You cannot! I tried. Do not repeat my mistake. You want to give me some more intel than that, or? I went down to the dark. They disturbed something. Something ancient. Something horrible. They followed me up the house. A horror from Lost Aeons. Not tread there, lest you stir up another monstrosity. Do not go to the basement. Well, I'm obviously going to go to the basement. You're going to tell me not to do something and expect me not to immediately do it. 
I failed, so obviously you can't do it either. Ah, unbolted. Okay, we got another door shortcut. Okay. Do we know way in the basement? Nope. Sure, we'll get there later. Ah, safety room. Okay, cool. I got some more mystery meat, which I assume is healing. Piano key? Skull key? Have we seen the skull door? <laughs> I don't know if we've seen the skull door. They're probably fine. Hello. I'm the keyhole is checked. Ah, there's a fucking corpse. I see your feet. <laughs> I see little feet down here, barely visible. Oh, I guess we're going around. Okay. Bring it around town. I don't know where the hell this servant came from. I was pretty sure that, like basically everybody in here is dead. I think the hallway kind of leads around the back. This is the way we came in initially. What was this one? This is noose. Okay, that's the kill yourself door. We're on the, so the kill yourself door is in the back. And then we have... Oh, there's stairs here, too. I could, I think it's... I can just keep going this way. I think this leads back out of the balcony. Nope. <laughs> Incorrect! I thought that was the door we unbolted. Nope. All right, so we're going down. This is blocked. Or jammed. Did I peek this? Lovely. Okay. I guess, what I really should be doing is peeking the doors I can't get into. So, this is the statue's room? Yes, okay. I should be peeking the doors that won't open. And this... Ow, 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 ow. The sun, it burns. I am a vampire. I was standing there because I thought I wanted to be between the windows. I was, like, worried about walking past them. But nope, there is a uh, poo-poo gas out there. Oh, every room with a door now, or with windows, now hurts. Which is a... Oh, that's a full heal fuck. I could have saved that a lot longer. This is what we call a fucking problem. It's gonna be an issue. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the skull door was. Okay, so every room with windows is now dangerous. What's up, Jesus? How you doing? We're playing some runed rune is into evil. This was bolted. Ow, my bones. Aha! That was this door. I just hadn't unbolted this yet. Okay, well, unfortunately, I'm just gonna just get punched in the fucking face a lot of times. Because I need to go that way. Ow. 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 I'm not convinced we've seen a skull door. This is the bedroom and the bathroom. We've been through here. I got a grand piano key and a skull key, and I have no fucking idea what to do with either of them. What was this? It's back to the main halls. That one's not broken, actually. That, that room's fine. How about you? We tried you? Your doll door. I don't want to alarm anyone. But I am fucking lost. Statues need two more eyes to go this way. I am hella fucking lost. Okay, here's Spooker the ghost. That's fine. That's tusks. 
Where the fuck is the skull door? Downstairs was Snake. And I would like to avoid the going down there as much as possible. Seems to be the, uh... What was this one? Doll. So, doll and tusks. I'm about to fucking start drawing a map. Keeper around piano. Picture of a skull on top. I'm about to start drawing a map. I might actually have to pull out Microsoft Paint for this one. This one... This one might be a Microsoft Paint experience. <laughs> can't fucking find shit, man. Uh, oh, uh, it's downstairs? Oh, uh, uh, because, like, this hurts a lot. I can't take that for very long, and I have to run through that to go. Come on. Hey, have a nice day. At least they have the poo gas. What were these? Stood around like, that thing's not gonna hit me for 1200 here. Maybe I need to get ganked. Not what we're doing. It will be progress. Take me to your leader. Magical wall tentacle. I wish to go. Wherever that leads. Fine, I'll do it myself. I think I'm missing a fucking door. What's this? The ghost. Oh, this is the skull door. Ah, it was downstairs. And here's fuckboy McGee. Have a nice day, sir. Idiot. All right, progress. I found it. Next door, please. Okay. I've enjoyed my stay in this room. Feel like I've taken in the views. Got a good vista. Next door, please. Gained a lot from that one. Ah, hello, spooky child. A little girl stares at you. Her face is passionate. Hello. Face is clean, but she's dressed in rags. She got a big old fucking head. She got a giant fucking noggin compared to her body. What is this? Is this just a window? Yeah, I thought this was a mirror, but it doesn't appear to be a mirror. I'm not sure what it is. Can you hear me, little ghost child? I'll turn to the right, studying you intently. Hello? Just fucking smiling. Then you take 1,200 damage and die. Yeah, okay. I don't know what the fuck to do with this. All right. Next room, please. I got some spooky girls with DK mode on. Next room. Okay, I picked... Oh, that might be actually a bolted door down there. Ah, grand piano. I have a key for one of those. Add the missing note and play it. There's no need to stop here at Clunk nearby. Oh, the key. Oh! A piano key like D, 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 not like Kachink. All right, I misunderstood that one, but we're all on the same page now. I got what we're doing. There's a missing piano key. Uh, Fucking. Uh, I ain't got the help for this shit, man. Okay. This is the skeletons room. That's where we keep all of the skeletons. All right, so I'm going to be ready to eat this shit. Ouch. 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 Hi, Gem. That's... Okay, there's one. I think that's kind of it for that room. <laughs> this is the skeleton closet. It's where I keep all my skeletons. <laughs> Why do you have one of those? If we get one more eye Gem, we have something to do. That's where we came from anyway, so we want to go this way. One more eye gem or a useful key. 
Oh, that's the basement, right? We're on the ground floor. We're on the ground floor. That's the basement, I think. Ah, the backside of the spooky ghost mirror room. Hello. Hey, you want to do the same thing? Oh, hold on. She made sounds. It was different. Oh, she's just doing, like, creepypasta shit. Okay. <laughs> she's just doing creepypasta shit over there. I'm not worried about it. Down the stairs. We're going to the one place. That, oh, there's a lot of fucking doors. Oh, this is absolutely just Big Boo's haunt for Mario 64. Okay, the first door, please. What's behind door number one? Congratulations, you've won two more doors. <laughs> All right, well, we'll try the one that's not spooky. Never mind, spooky door it is. Which looks like it's bolted. Nope. This dude's fucking locked in the closet, just raging. <laughs> Despite all my rage, I'm still just a ghost in a cage. Motherfucker. Why is this a recommended early game quest? Well, I need 30 in all skills to get the fucking loot out of the box. I just want my loot box, man. You deny me my loot box. Rude? Uncouth? Ah, butler. There's also a cleaver door, apparently. I'm waiting on, like, six fucking doors. And I keep getting keys for even more doors that I did not know existed. Ah, safety room. That means I'll get more meat. Yay. I get a, another full heal. That's good, because I don't have any more. I am very running out of that. Auto quest of additional rewards if you come back later, like enchanting the broom. That's true. You know that broom is definitely just going to get forgotten. Oh, that's the cleaver door, apparently. But we all know that broom is definitely just going to get forgotten in my bag. That's their fucking little knife blocks. Look at their little knife blocks. <laughs> Shooting the world's slowest. Oh. Ah. Fine. I don't know why I sounded like a ghost there. I definitely sounded like a fucking ghost on that one. I made spooky ghost noises. No one's fucking ever gonna remember to come back to this and get these chests later. No one in the history of video games has ever remembered to come back here after the quest. There's so many fucking doors! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I feel like I should open the ones. Oh, this is the general manager. I just wanted to get it out from front of the door because I wanted to come unblock it, but it, it can do creepy past the shit. I don't care. I just don't want it in front of the door so I can come through there later. Hello, welcome to the door, Emporium. Using that door spawned him over here. Motherfucker. F I'll go this way then. Fine. I'll go around the other side of the room. Welcome to the door, Emporium. Can I interest you in a couple of doors? We got only the finest doors down here. The door. I found a large pipette. Also, pipettes. Welcome to the door, Emporium. Doors and pipette, Emporium. We got plenty of doors, but we also got a small selection of my pets. Serving multiple sections of the clientele simultaneously. Oh, there's a pig. There's a pig. Oh, there's a pig. They got a pet. I'm gonna suck it. I got pig juice. <laughs> For no r other reason than because I have a pipette. So I'm gonna pipette stuff. You block this fucking door when I go through, I'm gonna be upset with you. Oh, this room is spicy. This is the warm room. Search furnace. That seems like how you burn your fucking hands off. Let's do it. The tiny scraps of rags and blood. Make out fragments of cracked and charred bones amongst the coals. I know where they came from. You feel compelled to scoop up some ashes. 
Ah, yes. Pig bile and human ashes. We're going to be making some delicious fucking soup tonight. How could either of these literally ever be useful? Don't know, but I have a mixing cauldron. Dried ectoplasm. I wonder if it's the kind of ectoplasm that's removed by mixing human ashes with a pipette of pig blood in a cauldron for, like, no reason. Ah, yes. Battery acid. <laughs> That's what Duracell runs on. It's a mixture of, like, refined human suffering and pig vomit. Hello? Fuck you too, asshole. It's okay. It's ethically sourced pig vomit. I sound like they're going through something. I'll kind of leave them to their business. They're fine. It's like dealing with a toddler. I know how to deal with toddler tantrums. You just let them tire themselves out. Just gotta leave them there. They'll run out of tantrum energy eventually. Oh, that's a ladder. Hold on. I don't want to fucking go upstairs. Okay, we got a ladder. We got a, an absolute tantrum. And also a ghost. It's a tantrum and a ghost. It's a, it's a wombo. Oh, well, I we just figured out why they're screaming. There's a fucking murder ghost in there. Mystery solved, boys! Pack it up. Let's head home. That's not blood. That's just a broken wine cask. There's nothing in this room other than a chest that's going to tell me to come back with fucking 40 and everything. I'm going to come back here with 40 and all my stats in six years when I hit 40 rune crafting. And this chest is going to be like, here's a sapphire and 60 gold pieces. And I'm never going to do any of this shit ever again. Okay. You think they tired themselves out yet? Frozen, except for the vocal cords, which are perfectly fine. Truly impressive lung capacity on this one. <laughs> How you doing? You look like you're having a tough esports moment. Can you see? Yep. Oh, there's a key in her mouth. Yep, thank you. That's for me. Oh. Yeet. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, doll key. That's definitely a room that I have seen, and that's as far as that connection goes. I definitely. <laughs> the blinker is so fucking green skin. I definitely. Ah, uh, shit. There's another fucking corpse right here. Hello. Anything behind this? No. Fuck's blocking the door. I don't see shit. Is it being blocked by the mystical force? <laughs> she was allergic to keys. She was in extreme anaphylactic shock. You see, it was actually she was allergic to the brass coating on the key itself. So she wasn't like she was completely frozen. Her muscles had totally locked up. All she had left was the ability. <sighs> The top of the fucking ladder is low. Okay, let's go all the way back around, I guess. God damn it! Ghost demon ghost face! You can't just cave the only door I can go in. Because I mean, he's like, <laughs> she's st Wait, hold on. <laughs> she's stuck in a closet, stupid bitch. I'm gonna get her. Fuck off, dude. God damn it! Wait, where do I go then? Hey, how do I get out of here? Nothing in this room other than the chest. Does the servant have a second key up her ass? Like, dude, go home. There's like three rooms. I mean, I get, you are literally home. This is like your house. But go to a different home. Is there something else in here? All right, we're missing something. Examine locker. Ironically, it's locked. 
That's not what irony is. You... Nope. Nope. Foul. Yellow flag. Misuse of irony on the field. What the fuck it is? The 30 chest, that's the 40 chest. Not the doll key is I have. Oh, there's a the fucking key on the wall. That's the snake key. Nothing more of interest? What do you mean there's nothing more of interest? There's clearly a key, right? I can literally see a key. The whole ass key right there. This is probably the snake key, I'd imagine. Can I peek the ladder? Oh, it's the sun. It's going to start burning me. Motherfucker, this is going to lead back out of the atrium. Uh, so the doll room and the tusk room are both back left upstairs. Okay, before we dismiss the chat box. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Get the save. Okay. Now we have to run upstairs. Hang a Louie. Run into the hallway. Of the fire. Might have to eat our meat. This, this might be the meat. Because we're going to get a little bit fucking sizzled here. The fact that the the, uh, the sun constantly burning your fucking phalanges off of your body. I feel like one of you, was it you that's the doll door? Or is it further down? Well, that's the tusk door, right? I'm just trying to remember where the fuck we are. Nope, I don't know shit. It's somewhere up here. That's the tusk door. There's like two nearly identical long halls. Okay, there's tusky. Doll is also up here somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where. I think it might be back through the door on the right. Door on the right actually might be the doll door. It might have been one off. I'm slowly starting to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Were you doll door? You were doll door. Okay. See, I know what I'm doing. Hello. Oh, there's another floor. Awesome. There's another fucking floor. Oh, hello, tiny child. Oh, it's talking. You can't find it. It's lost. No. I want an airbrush back. I miss it. Touch the ghost. Damn it. I can't touch the ghost. It's almost like he's incorporeal or something. Okay, well, I'm going to take the tusky. You have a nice day. Uh, doing ghosty stuff. Look like you're having a good time. Oh, it's not an entire other floor. And then we're also going straight back to where we're with the test door. Okay, I know where we are. We have an objective. We know we need one more eyeball for the last of the statues. Which, God willing, these windows are going to fucking blow out. Fuck you. Fuck you, ghost. You absolute nuisance. Go be annoying somewhere else. On the toast, I really I do not have the fucking help for you to turn this hallway into a hallway of death. Tusk key! Hello! Ah, it's like a little trophy room. Okay, we got some trophies. A bunch of trophies. We got a bust. I'm gonna touch it. Break its fucking neck. Oh, the burr has moved. There's now a trap door. Ooh. Ooh. It's the beginning of the original Assassin's Creed. Scratching the walls are just the thief was locked in here against his will. Searching his body reveals the item he's trying to steal. I jam. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking looking for. Okie dokie. Now, all we have to do is remember... Where the fuck the statues were? Because <laughs> I don't remember. Was it literally right here? It'd be super nice if it was literally right here. Is this the statue gallery? How does he fucking do it, ladies and gentlemen? It was the closest possible door to his current position. 
Squidish the god of video games, Jackson. Here to teach you how to do it. Stick around, maybe you'll learn something. Eyeball. Eyeball. Right, secret door. Not so much a secret door, but like a moderately secret door. Shrine of the sun. Not like, praise the sun, Solaire, the sun like the ghost child. Sir. Memory of Lenian Golvis constructed by his father, Ormod. Ning atop it is a hairbrush, covered in dust, has been removed for many years. We found the mother's hairbrush. Okay, well, let's go back to the kid. I'm not confident that back to the kid is what we do with this, but he was literally talking about it, so it seems a degree of fitting. Going in a circle. I'm thankful they haven't decided to blow out the windows on this last floor yet because there wasn't the chest in that room. I think every safe room so far, excuse me, sir. Every safe room so far has given us a mystery meat up until that one. That one did not give us a mystery meat. We wasted a lot of health on the first mystery meat because I didn't know how much it was going to heal us. No, it was, oh fuck, no it wasn't this, it was the doll room. The doll room. Supposed to be 3D RuneScape instead of old school. This is in fact old RuneScape 3, Kiz Rune. How you doing, Taraka? Welcome. RuneScape 3, and we're doing the very clear love letter to Resident Evil quest. Dude, come on. Just let me go to the doll room. Okay. Back through this door. And through this door. And up the stairs. Can I interest you in a tooth hairbrush? Can I interest you in a hairbrush? There you go. Gross child who is actually not a... Well, you are a ghost because I couldn't touch you, but you look less ghosty than the rest. Thank you, madam. I must apologize for my behavior. I didn't know what came over me. Oomst? I'm Lanian. My father Robert built this great mansion long ago. Okay, that's the ghost that's trying to kill me every, like, third door I walk through. Um, yeah, he had some fucking issues, honestly. Uh, I think he's kind of upset about the me dying thing. His guilt has trapped him here, turned him into a, a monster. Okay, can we prevent that? Or end it or something? Uh, I mean, if I forgive him, maybe? Although we've both been trapped in here for God fucking knows how long and I haven't, it hasn't occurred to me until now, so I don't know, maybe. Yo, fuck it. Let's try, I guess. Wait. wait, wait, wait. Keep her away from me. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, that's what the hand is. She explode? Get <laughs> ghosts explode? Is that the way they work? Fuck, I don't remember where the new store is. I'm gonna level with you. I do not remember the new store is. I think it's on the other side of the main Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be going way the fuck over here. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is that a safe death? That is a safe death. Okay. That is a safe death. It's safe deaths in here. Don't worry. Nobody fear. That would have been the fucking stupidest way anyone has ever lost hardcore status. Okay, so we need to... 
full sprint away from every door we go through. Oh, it actually even restores like my health that I was at. It gives me all the meat back, I noticed. All right, full sprint away from doors when you go in them or they will instantly kill you. I don't know where the fuck the new store is, man. I don't know where the fucking new store is. You're expecting... Is it this door here? You're expecting way too much out of my memory. Is this the news? Okay, open... Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Thank you. Get away from the fucking door. <laughs> that would have been, like... I guess, like... I, I, on the one hand, like, I couldn't even be mad. On the other hand, it'd be a little upset because I felt like we would have had a really good thing going with this, like... Um... With this three bonds thing. This is fun, and I think we could... Okay, so, like, Windows photos just crashed, which is apparently a thing that can happen. The fact that it wasn't in three bonds kind of spoiled to me it was probably safe. That's true. Someone definitely would have ran in there and bet that if they knew this quest and that wasn't a safe death. I'm going to hide in the cupboard. Oh. Wait, can I open that door or is that other door just locked? fucking bathroom. I better wash my hands real quick. I've been being chased by a weird fucking goof monster. Your plumbing doesn't even work, dude. Come on. I could get over the fact that you don't even have a toilet and that the bathroom is literally just like a 20 by 30 room with nothing but a fucking ceramic sink in it. But the plumbing doesn't even work. There's no soap here. Dude, one out of 10 on, or one out of five on Yelp, man. Come on. Come on. I get that you're running a haunted house, but it's 2022. We're all much more transmission conscious. You just can't have a bathroom with no running water. I can look past the no toilet. But I can't wash my hands properly. That's why I draw the fucking line. There's a peeper hole. I thought that was a lamp. I want a peep. What's in the hole? Hello? You memorized the set of symbols on the wall. I sure hope that just means that I like know them. <laughs> that I don't, and it's not instructions. You player memorize the set of symbols on the wall because they're because I'm here to tell you that's just nonsense, and I'm not gonna remember it. The literal second I back away from this door. Enter, climb through people. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, the one up top is like the ancient magic icon. And then it's just like zoobledy zops. Unbolted a door. I don't like that because that means I've come back to somewhere I've already been. Ooh. Yeah, we've been here. That doesn't help me. That's the only thing that we got from this area. The only thing we got from the news key was this password. Anything else I can click on? Because I don't know where to put that. If that's that's just feeding back into a place we've already been. This is a girthy quest for a Resident Evil reference. Oh, there's a, there's a door ahead, but I'm on the ladder. I didn't see that. Aha, I found it. This is a really fucking, like, thick quest for just a Resident Evil reference. Ah! The spooky room. Oh, there's nothing, nothing suspicious about this door. Alright, that's not thing I say I can interact with immediately. I see there's literally a fucking grave in the back. Ormond Golvis' last will and testament. 
I'm gonna snooze the ad because I can do that. The work here is done. The servants have been discharged no more, so this life troubled them. Dick and Poison and I retired to my tomb to rest beside my wife. The voices call me murderer, but I know that history will remember me as an entrepreneur and a visionary. Sure, we may have killed dozens, if not hundreds, of people, and indirectly brought about the fall of civilization, but for a brief and shining moment in time, I generated a great return on investment for a handful of shareholders. My father was merely a crude tribesman, but it was through imagination and hard work I made my fortune through the forging of civilization itself. <laughs> well, many were the warlords who wished to control Mistalin. In runestones with a key, I established a supply and traded these precious rocks and grew wealthy from it. Wow, it's actually the thing that I said as a joke, but like, unironically. My work was important and it kept me busy. I love my wife, but I had not the time for our son or his foolish distractions. When the pox took her, Servidomen did not care to double the hours in my day. My work was what kept this great house over our heads, but a stupid boy of two winters can understand such things. I got her nursemaid to care for him and simply required that she keep him constrained in the nursery tower. His needs were satisfied, satisfied. He had food and books! What else could you possibly need? The nursemaid committed a grave error by damaging one of my relics. I disciplined her. Is any good master out to discipline a servant? You know, I mean, I murdered her, obviously. She disappointed me one time, so she died. Um, had she been less clumsy, I wouldn't have had to kill her. It was many weeks before I murdered the boy in the tower. <laughs> right, and then I remember that I had a kid that she was taking care of. My bad. Uh, yeah, but I was dead, obviously, by that time. The nursemaid had failed to provide him with an adequate source of- Oh, the sink not working is canon! Another death delay at her feet may Sarah Doman have mercy on her shitty servant soul. It was some time after this that I found myself becoming inexplicably prone to unsettled moods. Subtlest solution from the Order of the Wizards, star with whom I did business. Made it clear to them some sort of curse or their magical malady was to blame. They labored to recreate the spell to remove it. Well, they suck too, obviously. They're exclusive. They didn't have enough, an explicit understanding of what had befallen me, but I named them as the faithless traitors they were and sent them away. So I went to the tribal seers and the two soothsayers. The toothless... Sightless old man. <laughs> if you remember, it's probably not important. Uh, that told me my freedom lay very deep beneath this very house. They could not tell me what or was or how it would help. Another recourse, I dug deeper and deeper beneath the house. I'd seen fragments of the ruined stonework to the south. It was possible that something lay buried down here. Proven correct, and my crew opened a deep cave. In that cave, a great door magically sealed. The door resisted every effort to open it. No man or tool or spell at my disposal worked. I attempted to contact the wizard's tower, but they compounded their earlier mistake by refusing to even speak with me. I never lay beyond that door to remain there. I sealed the basement away with great locks and put it out of my mind. Fuck that guy. Found the matter for some time and realized that my malaise was the inevitable result of my knowledge and experience of life itself. Seems obvious to me that life, which would take away a hard working, working man's wife and child, you know, sucks balls. Before I could rest, I'd pass on the fruit of my discovery to the servants. So they need not suffer as I had suffered. To make their final hours more entertaining, I sealed the mansion with magic and haunted them one by one. With my sister, Biaka, I leave my mansion and all of its contents made shelter you better ahead of me. Okay. But there's nothing useful in here. I can't even, like, do anything with these coffins. This little diggy grave. Ormod Golvoss was last will and testament. Ormod Golvoss was the worst person ever. You, you might think to yourself that, oh, yeah, I understand. He was the worst person ever. But you do not even 5% understand. This guy was the fucking worst person ever. So, while interesting, Westlock's probably going to be a non-starter on this one, I'm imagining. Unsurprising. Unlike many quests, this on a non-linear open approach. You'll find no help in the quest journal. and must fucking figure this out on your own. I should have drawn a fucking map. Uh, the map only helps so much because I have this code. The problem is I've never been to somewhere that can use that code, which makes me feel like the door I haven't opened somewhere. He got depressed because his kid died. He was so fucking in denial. He thought he was cursed when the wizards told him he was a fucking idiot. <laughs> he dug up some ancient, like, Lovecraftian demon. And then killed himself, and then killed everyone else, just for the shits. Can't open any of these little, like, boarded up things. This is back to this, the room of 70 doors at the bottom, right? Yes. Can we go through all of these? I actually think that door in the end we might not have been into. This is, this is in fact, the safe room. That's what I thought it was. Cool. Have a save real quick, like. 
Because this one led to the, the, the other... Oh, there's also just the basement right here. We definitely haven't been down here. Okay, there's places I haven't been. Because we ended up peeling off into the other room that had like seven doors. So there's a combination lock. You unlock the door by entering the symbols. You thought to the people. Ah, yeah. I didn't have to fucking remember it. Woo. Cool. Yeah, we just haven't been here yet. I didn't get around those stairs. Ah. Okay. What the fuck? Uh, okay. I don't really... Obviously we want yellows, but like... Huh? <laughs> what? I... Uh... Can I push them onto each other's plinths? Oh, this is a two-way street. Can I stand on one? Okay, so I also can stand on one. Is it different if I stand on it versus them? That goes pink if it's me. Is it literally just I stand on the fifth one? Is that all there is to it? No. There's got to be some kind of pattern now. These are changing colors. But I'm going to level with you and say I don't understand it at all. Halmst. I don't even a little bit get this. They don't like intersect. I see there's like middle outer. I see that. Or something like. Okay, so both the blues turn purple if I step on that. They also change if I step on this. God damn it. The same thing. Me standing on it changes them like that. Me standing here only changes this. It's one of those, like, I think this is a weird one of those, like, moving one thing. Like the Ninja Turtles lever puzzle in Borderlands 2 is what I'm thinking of. But I'm like that if I was too stupid for it. So this changes all three of these. That only changes itself. This only changes itself. This changes three. This changes the two outer ones. God fucking damn it. It didn't mean to move you. I literally never mean to move you. And this changes right in the middle. Okay, so let's start with this one, because we need a lot of changes. Or do we not want to change that, because it's already yellow? This changes blue, green, and red to yellow. If I change you to purple and then stand on you, you go back to the yellow. So, so I can theoretically push you from here. That just literally switches them. This changes you two. No, this just changes you. Stupid. 
Do we just want them all to be purple? I thought we wanted them to be yellow. Why the fucking door yellow? <laughs> In the thing. I'm a winner. I never figured out the Ninja Turtle lever, lever puzzle in BL2 despite playing through the game a dozen times. Nobody did. Anyone who tells you they did is lying. Nobody has ever solved the Ninja Turtles Borderlands 2 puzzle. Literally everyone just spams all the levers until the boss spawns. Nobody has solved that puzzle. Uh, we're going extremely down. And then we've been in basically every room upstairs except that locked, like, portrait gallery. This looks fine. <laughs> ah! Yes! We're gonna go down into the spooky hole now. Good thing somebody already tied off this rock for me. Ingram must have left this mountaineering gear. The hanging grip stretches in the darkness of the pit. Well, obviously, I'm gonna go down Welcome, the What do you think I am? Some kind of huge the bitch? Pool. I ain't some kind of huge fucking bitch. Peach? Hell. Glad you enjoying the concert. You've been hanging out for about an hour? Approximately? Because I remember saying your name when you followed like an hour ago, ago or so, but I have, I will admit, totally lost track of fucking time by this point in this quest. Glad you're having fun. You and the shiny squiddling. Welcome to Squiddy Pool. Here's the hats. Thank you for the prime sub. I know you get to put that one place. Appreciate you chose making it here. Thank you for the Bezos bucks. No money out of your pocket. Free money into my pocket. Okay. I remember that in Borderlands 2. Yeah, the, the Ninja Turtles think you could fight like the Splinter meme with the lever puzzle after all the turtles. I feel safe in this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so safe down here. If I could just think of one word to describe how this room makes me feel, it's safe. I feel so fucking safe in this room, man. You guys have no idea. This is the safest fucking room I've ever been in. I feel so safe in this room. Okay. So I've only been pranked once and died instantly, and I shit my pants a little bit and feared for my fucking hardcore status, but this is apparently a safe death. The majority of the book's pages are brittle with age to the point of disintegration. We discovered it appears to be some kind of visitor's log. Huh. Okay. Oh, vital. Mild. I would say I'd have a mild amount of concern. Uh, reception desk. I found Nabor's notes on insanity. Oh, and a chains key. Oh, combine. Oh, this is the spell thing. What the fuck? God, that ain't the spell piece I had. I thought I was just left clicked on it thinking it was going to be read. There. It's so fucking dark down here. I can't see shit. I hope you don't expect me to see anything in these rooms. Holy fuck, it's dark. If you're wondering, on stream, can I walk across this? Perfectly fine balanced. Oh, we're getting shotgun chests now. I need base 70s to open this one. It's probably got like at least an emerald and like three cooked shrimp in it. Hello. Right, this is prison. Nothing interesting and in I'm literally just mouse wiping everything now because I can't see. I'm so blind, it's so dark. Hello. Okay, everybody Life has many doors, that boy. Behind every door, there is another door waiting for you. Just doors, literally all the way down. Ah, yes. Okay. 
So not that. That was just a circle. God fucking damn it. Okay, anyway, this door. Fucking... This door. Chains key! Haha! -ha. Just making sure I search the desk. Okay. Another extremely dark hallway. With a door and a pile of garbage. Okay, that's a very large pile of garbage. I'll be taking the door. I'm just gonna get murdered because I literally can't. Like, these rooms are basically black. Like, I can see the walls more or less. And that's basically it. We've established that I am blind. We all know that already. With dagger key. Oh my god, no. Isn't the dagger door upstairs somewhere? No fucking way. I don't remember where that is at all. No. Oh my god, no. There was a dagger door all the way back upstairs. I have absolutely zero recollection of where it was. Considering these are just getting spammed at us, I think we're nearing the end. The whole point of the basement might literally just be to get the dagger key. I feel like it was somewhere fairly late in our exploration. Is that door fogging? I don't know if Dickhead can appear in the base, but he hasn't yet, but doesn't mean he can't. And if I'm gonna run back to the main chamber 27 more fucking times, uh, I'm gonna need all of this mystery meat. We didn't find the dagger door till pretty late. It might have been behind the new store. I know vaguely where the new store was. And I mean, like, really fucking vaguely. What are you? Locked? The basement literally just gives you the dagger key. Okay. And the notes on sanity. Feel safe in this room. <sighs> okay, time to go find the fucking dagger door. Um, I don't remember where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. I'm just gonna go back upstairs and we're gonna be hella fucking lost. <laughs> uh huh. Up the stairs. Okay, up the stairs. Uh huh. Up the stairs. The basement was one key. Just one key. The whole basement was one key. Okay. Which I guess is just peak Resident Evil, really. This entire labyrinth for like. One third of a disc with a fucking goat head inscribed on it. Oh, I've been looking for that. That's the third piece of the fucking fireplace goat head disc key. I'm glad I killed a six story tall plant demon for that. I like the new. Well, that's just shut from both ways. Oh, okay. You know what we didn't do? I have to go back downstairs. And peek the jammed doors. Damn it. I forgot about peeking until I got back up here. I didn't peek the jammed doors. And though the reason I'm going back down to double check it is because we have already gotten one password from peeking. Like we had to look in the room and see the password written on the wall. And while I don't know if that's going to happen again, I don't want to get stuck in like five minutes because I didn't peek this door while I was here and then have to come all the way back down after 20 more minutes of trying to figure out what the fuck I'm missing and remembering that this damn door existed. We need to go peek it right now. And I'm really hoping I can see the other door from this door. I'm fairly positive they lead to the same room. Or at least the joining rooms. I, need, I might need to peek them both. 
Fuck that peaky. Are you kidding me? Fucking peaking. God. Damn it. Yeah, the devs also forgot about peeking doors. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, right. We were doing that, huh? Okay. Off we go. Out there again, it's got a real smug smile on his face right now. I don't think so. I think they just also forgot about the peeking. Okay, so, oh my god, I'm still not all the way up the stairs. From here fastest way upstairs is probably to go upstairs I'm not confident where we are from here this is the door that no this is not the door that was bolted that was second. I don't even know what fucking floor I'm on right now I'm gonna level I don't even know what fucking floor we're on ah shit Augustus gloop is back that's gonna be a problem So, uh, monster. I guess Gloopy appears, I guess, in any hole that's long enough to support him. Which is it? Oh my fucking god. No. No, let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Oh. I, didn't, I thought that's I thought that hall was too small for him. It was not. The hall was not too small for him. Yeah. You just walk up fifty seven flights of stairs again. <laughs> Note to self that Hall is not too small for the monster to spot him. Stop came at Taco Bell when they said they bring up Mexican pizza and probably ran out of Mexican pizza ingredients. So explain this to me. Because as an avid Taco Beller, we literally went there for lunch today. Which is the first time I saw it. They just now had like a... It wasn't like a handwritten thing. They had like a corporate... No, seriously, we are out of Mexican pizzas. Please stop ask asking. We can't help you sign on the door. Were people ordering the Mexican pizza? I got it once when they brought it back. Just out of like, I don't remember this thing being that good. And it wasn't that good. All it's going to take is literally one door that I open. That's... No. No, fuck you. Shit, this is the atrium. Help. Okay, let's let's save while we're upstairs, please. Like, what else is he gonna crunch wrap? It's prime, it was one of the best things. Like, see, they didn't think they would order it either. Apparently, it has been in like insanely high demand. For those of you unfamiliar, either because you don't have Taco Bells, I'm so sorry, or because you have taste, so you never considered ordering something called a Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. It's literally just like a tostada. It's, it's two tostada shells. And it is a bean burrito, but there's beef in there too. It is exactly a the basic bean burrito. The thing that is called bean burrito. It's the bean... It's the shredded cheese, and it's the, like, red bean burrito sauce. But but it's in two tostadas, and there's also ground beef. 
If you order a bean burrito and add ground beef, you are eating a Mexican pizza that is wrapped in a tortilla. And also, it was like literally the half as expensive because the Mexican pizza is like fucking seven dollars by itself. So this was the thing that when Taco Bell redid their menu forever ago. I can't tell if this is like a Morbius situation or not, you know? Where they literally brought Morbius back to theaters because of all the Morbius is the greatest movie ever memes so that it could bomb a second time because people weren't even going to ironically go see it. I can't tell if this is a Morbius thing because when Taco Bell updated their menu, the thing that everyone threw a fucking tantrum about was them getting rid of the Mexican pizza. And they got rid of the Mexican pizza... Like, they're a business and they make business decisions. When they were consolidating their menu, they didn't get rid of the Mexican pizza because it was their best fucking seller and it was making them a ton of money. They got rid of the Mexican pizza because literally nobody was fucking ordering Mexican pizzas. And, like, I can't tell if this is a Morbius thing. Well, that's just a meme that took off at the menu revamp. And that's what everyone complained about. So, like, oh, hee hoo hoo, we brought it back. But, like, it's out of stock at every fucking Taco Bell. Like, they ran out. That's the only thing they use the Tostada shells for. It's the only thing. It's why they got rid of it. They had to stock all the tostada shells specifically for Mexican pizzas. It was a one-to-one -one ingredient to menu. Like, that's just bad fucking business. It's, the crunch wraps, used, the crunch wraps did not use the same thing. There's no way that the, the thing in the crunch wrap is the same thing as the Mexican pizza shell. The Mexican pizza tostada is like a chalupa shell. The one the crunch wrap is like American yellow. <laughs> like, like many other foods, it's American yellow. You know, there's like the American yellow taco shell. There's the American yellow cheese. There's the American yellow mac macaroni, pasta dinner. When we take a thing and then we decide that we're just going to make the shitty American version, we just make it yellow. And it's the same yellow. It's yellow number five on all of them. That's what the dye is called. It's a flat taco shell on the crunch wrap. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure the Mexican pizza is like Chalupa-esque. It's not the flat American yellow taco shell, is it? Because the crunch wrap is also a one-to-one -one ingredient to seller. But you know, the crunch wrap fucking sells because that's the best deal at Taco Bell. So like everybody gets the fucking crunch wrap. No one got the goddamn Mexican pizza. Because I'm pretty sure. Since the rest of the Mexican pizza, again, is literally just a bean burrito, but with ground beef in it, the reason they can't make them is it literally has to be the tostada shells. That's the only ingredient they could possibly run out of. And they're still making crunch wraps, so they can't, like, by the transitive property, they can't be the same crunch wrap. They're, they can't be the same shell. They're different. They're different items. There are no other ingredients in a Mexican pizza that you can run out of. I'm going back to the fucking news store. By going back to the news store, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run back upstairs and die to the fucking monster trying to find the news store. At least the monster doesn't molest me in the main entryway. Get through the door for the monster eats my ass. This is the bedroom. Yeah. I wonder if I can peek this and stop the monster from spawning. I'm stuck. I have to keep, have to keep going. It's going to spawn. Oh my god, fuck off! This is the statue door. I peek this and prevent... Because that's clearly how you're supposed to be doing the quest in the first place. You're obviously supposed to be peeking when the ghost is there and not just running in and then one-ticking the ghost on the fucking door. You're supposed to peek him until he leaves. I'm just not doing that because I'm fucking lazy. I have no idea what the hell you guys are talking about that's making me hungry. We're, just a quick poll. I'm just curiosity. Satisfy me a personal curiosity, chat. Since Taco Bell has brought back the Mexican pizza, who has purchased at least one Mexican pizza from Taco Bell? I'm included. I got one. I'll tell you why I got one. Because when it came back in the Taco Bell app, I literally got a free Mexican pizza. There's no strings attached. It wasn't when you spend $20. It wasn't as part of a combo. It was just like one with the Mexican pizzas back. 
Here's the free Mexican pizza. So I ate it because it was zero dollars. So I've had one. God, no, why would I do that? Not in that work. This is what I'm saying. Is this some kind of an advertising ploy? Are they trying to pretend that they're out of Mexican pizza ingredients as like manufactured scarcity? Because this is like marketing 101. This is literal marketing 101. Hey, everybody's been asking for the Mexican pizza that we took off our menu because no one was fucking ordering it, but our supplier just said they could get us these Chalupa Tostada shells pretty cheaply again. We don't tell you that part, but the Mexican pizza due to overwhelming popular demand is coming back. Ah, oh, we're out of Mexican pizza ingredients nationally. You missed your opportunity unless... We restock. You better hurry and get one before we run out of fucking Chalupa Tostada shells again. Like, that's marketing. Which side is it going to spawn on? I feel like it's going to spawn inside the door I'm trying to go through. Nope, oh, okay, we're good. Examine. Examine monster. It's a blob. Yep, that's accurate. Can I let us see here? bear statue was it in the bear statue no that's literally a dead end okay right that's the thief hole okay so it's not this way going for out even it i got one for free i did in fact eat it it was fine i didn't realize when i was younger because i probably got a mexican pizza at some uh, some point in my life just out of natural curiosity so i didn't realize whenever i got one when i was younger that it is literally just a bean burrito but they added beef which is fine. Like, their bean burritos are pretty good. And so Bryn gets 100% of the time we go to Taco Bell, she gets bean burritos. Oh, shit. I missed the door. It's not like they're bad. Ow. I just want to take 74 damage. Um, what's in this door? I'm going to blow my fucking brains out, dude. Did I literally just go to the same place? <sighs> okay what's in the doll door then what's the baja blast now which you can just buy at the store apparently now i thought the whole point of baja blast is you can only get it at taco bell but they just sell it like you can buy a can 12 pack of fucking baja Bla nah shit that just leads here okay so it's not this way it is new store then i think so we gotta go the other side of the main hallway because it is in fact new store To the new store! Ow! 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 Uh, blast on tap hit different stores in the same- Well, yeah, it's because I've never been to a Taco Bell whose soda machine fucking works. Like... Has anyone? We actually have a recurring joke, me and Bryn. Oh, that's the deck. Oh, fucking door. I found it. I found it. Okay. Found the dagger door. We're good. Anyway, um, we actually have this joke that it doesn't matter what soda you order at Taco Bell. You just get brown soda. So if you order Pepsi, you get brown soda. If you order Dr. Pepper, you get brown soda. If you order Diet Pepsi, you get brown soda. If you order root beer, you get brown soda. Because I don't know what the fuck Taco Bell is doing with their soda machines. But the task of hooking up the pressurized hose to the case of soda flavored syrup on one end and the soda machine on the other end is beyond all of the taco bells in our town so <laughs> you just get brown soda and uh it was actually kind of funny we went up to get a refill because the one we frequent and the one we normally go to also what's up Zinder, and I'm, I'm fucking sorry for your loss we went to the one that we always go to, it's the closest and also the best one here. Who has more, I guess, more problems with their soda machine than everyone else because they still have not turned their fucking lobby soda machine back on. So you have to go to the counter and, like, ask them every time you want a, a refill because they still haven't figured out how to get their lobby machine working again. It's still down. They took it down for COVID and didn't realize that nobody on staff or at the Pepsi Cola company had the ability to turn it back on once they wanted it back. 
So we went up to the counter with the empty cup. We're like, hello, it's an empty cup. And they're like, oh, what kind of soda is uh, what What do you have? And Brent's like, brown soda. I mean, Dr. Pepper. Because <laughs> we called it brown soda for so long. The CS for brown soda. Oh, it's Ingram. All right, the dagger keys on where Ingram was locked. So this guy died in the last 20 minutes, right? This is the dude who told us to fuck off. That was the dagger door. I know a locked door will not stop it, but what else can I do? I have not the courage to go out and face it, and so here I wait. When I returned to the house, I found a third ghost, the little girl. The voiceless, the girl seemed gentle, even kind, before I saw her erupt into the blob demon. The very same beast that chased me from its lair beneath the house. The girl and the monster are one. Yeah, we, we know that, Eddie. What curse could befall such a sweet child that causes her to manifest such unholy fury? Ormod was trying to accomplish something, something to cure his madness. He wrote of a spell that failed him. I believe it was his failure that drove him some, from simple eccentricity to murderous lunacy. I've recovered pieces of his spell from among his notes. Perhaps if I could assemble all three fragments, it could be used to cure the girl. If Ormod could not make it work up to this, oh my god, how much this fucking quest is left? Holy shit. I'm missing one more piece, I think. Oh no, this is the piece. I'm missing one more piece. Like we've, I, I feel like we've tipped the point of this is a super cool Resident Evil reference to like, okay, I would like to do something else now. This is going on for long enough. Can you imagine the upbringing and privilege of experience I've never seen a broken soda machine? Does your country even have soda? We have a problem. I have no idea what the third fragment is. I feel like that was supposed to be the third fragment. I think we missed a fragment. And I don't know what to do about that. Oh no. Unless, like, something happens. No. Oh. We missed a fragment. And now it's a huge pain in the ass to explore. Because the fucking blob is going to be here literally always. I've been to a place I've broken sub of an Arby several times when I had a recipe. That seems to be like the Pocatello, a Pocatello exclusive problem. So I'm pretty sure an Arby's in literally any other city would just close if they didn't have any roast beef. It's like, it's Arby's roast beef sandwiches. That's like, that's the thing that they do. They do roast beef. <sighs> Chat. I don't want to ban this quest, but I'm feeling pretty abandoned this quest. I'm, uh, I think they, I think they got us chief. I, I think they got us. I missed a fucking paper somewhere and the only room I haven't been in is this one. And you, I don't know how to get in here. This is the only room I know of that we haven't been in. And it's on a jammed shut. Which isn't like blocked or anything, it's just jammed. Arby's don't run out of roast beef, they're out of cooked roast beef. You have to shove those roasts in an oven for two, three hours to get up the temperature and so the manager to judge how much to put that oven in ahead of each rush period. The manager misjudges or she just gets crazy around a cooked roast beef and just can't do shit about it. Huh. You know, I would not have expected Arby's. I don't really have a mental classification for Arby's as like the upper echelon of fast food establishments. I would not have expected Arby's to actually have like several hour rotisserie roast beef. Because like that almost sounds like it's good quality. That's something in here though, does it? Is there? And that almost makes it sound like it's real food. Keyword being almost. Oh, absolutely. Uh, oh, uh. 
I'm gonna take 104 now. Why'd the light get stronger? What the fuck? The light got worse? The light leveled up? Oh, man. We are literally back on search everything. Yeah, I read this. Anything we're missing? Uh, and from light damage. Yeah. I can't be upset. That's actually decent. I can't be mad about that one. That wasn't bad. Fuck me, man. The papers don't come from... Am I just supposed to go back to the main atrium? If I go back to the main atrium and nothing happens... I might throw in the towel on this quest. They might have defeated me. I don't want to go back and research every single room in the house. Something in like the entryway. I don't know, chat. I don't know, chat. I can literally only think of one room we haven't been in. I believe the stupid hellhole. I haven't been back here. Is anything secret hidden back here somewhere? That's the snake door. We've been down there now. There's something down here. I have suffered. Hey, Jester, how you doing? I have suffered through runescape quests for weeks and literal months of trying to piece together how to solve them and not thrown in the fucking towel. But this quest, this quest might fucking have me. Because it's not only like it's a puzzle or something I can't solve. It's just a giant ass mansion that I've fully explored. I would bet money it's in the basement. The reason being... The basement had exactly one key. We got one key out of the basement and nothing else. And the basement seems like it's way too important of a focus. To have just given a single key for upstairs. I'm pretty sure... Here's my thought process right now. I think this spell fragment that I got off of Ingram was supposed to be the last one. I think that was supposed to be fragment three. I kind of wish they were called like fragment one and fragment three. Some RuneScape quests do that. I'm a little sad this one doesn't. This was continuously screaming girl's room. Yeah, there's continuously screaming girl. There's also this door never opens. What did this one do? What room is this? This was the one with the weird little butthole in the wall. There's also... Okay, there's also this. There's two. I forgot about this one. There's two rooms. I think the code is right here. I think all this is, this is the peephole that you look in from the other side of the basement and you see the code. Like, believe it or not, by this point, I think I have a pretty good sense of the layout of the mansion. The other side of this is the hallway that you can climb down through the cabinet ladder. And you look through here to see the code that's right next to me. I'm fairly positive that's what this room is. And there might just straight up be no reason to ever go in there. So I'm willing to write that one off. I don't think that's the room you actually access. Are you still barred? Okay, yes. I think this is fragment three. I think fragment two is in the basement. I don't know what else to go after, really. Um, we just came out of there. Where haven't we been recently? Have we been down OG Hall in a while? Notice the ghost just fucked off, by the way. Like, Lormod just left. He's a peace bros and just went home because we now have the sentient fucking blob of murder. I guess is kind of doing Ormod's job. Show my scribblings. 
Oh my god, I missed it in here. Okay, it was on the fucking floor in here. Oh, we got it! Which means I haven't read this. Madness, they call it. Madness! Maybe it is madness, but madness is nothing but a curse. An illness is an infirmity of the body, so madness is an infirmity of the mind! My long experience with mages and runes, I have learned that any physical ailment can be alleviated with magic. If it is so for the body, why not for the mind? Why not indeed? And so my clients have developed a spell for me, but it is incomplete. I need something more. It's a missing piece of knowledge neither I nor they possess. Useless! I tear it to pieces. Ah, I created the Break Curse Scroll. What do I do with this? <laughs> I would like to go save. Because my thought the first is the save room. Cool. So it's now saved that I have the break curse scroll. Stand back, everyone. I'm going to do something very stupid. Hiya! I didn't actually expect that to work. I was 100% confident I was going to do that. I was going to run up. I was going to run up to it. It was going to say nothing interesting happens, and then I was going to die. Uh, hello. Did it work? I'm sorry, uh, what are we talking about? Well, I cast a spell to break your curse, but you're still a gibbering mouther. Uh, I don't really understand what he's saying, you weird little human. You're a little girl. Turned into a gibbering mouther. Little girl? Rowena. Oh, you mean Rowena. Yeah, from Final Fantasy XIV. The one who takes all the little tokens. I don't fucking know, dude. I haven't played that game in like six months. Uh, is she still chilling? Is she cool? No, you're you're the little fucking girl, dude. I had a weird dream last night. I got really high the day before. I dreamed I was like a little girl. I just wanted to go to play with people and do little girl stuff. Everyone just ran away from me, and when I copped them, they vanished. It's because you're a little- God fucking damn it, you demon ball. No, I'm not Rowena. No, what the, okay, well, what the fuck's the ball, then? I'm... Senesianus Aloysius Pamphilius. The Magnificent. I'm a citizen of Senesianus. Yeah, why are you a gibbering mouther? What? Oh. Oh, yeah, the shivering mother. Yeah, the giant ball of doom. Uh, oh, I'm a demon, obviously. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, who's Rowena? Uh, she was... Oh, right. No, yeah, that little girl. Oh, I totally ate her. Oh, my bad. No, you... So you just turned into her? Oh, yeah, I guess. I, Probably, I, I felt bad about it. I kind of forgot who I was for a bit there. Uh, there was a cell, there was a priest and doctor, there was an asylum. Uh, I don't really remember, honestly. It's all kind of blurred. Like I said, I got super fucking high. Uh, there was a home for the broken minded, like an asylum. Uh, let me think, hold on. Wait, so did I cure your madness? Did I do it? Oh, oh yeah, no, if you if that was you, then awesome. Thank you, that was, that's great, fantastic. Okay, so. <laughs> How do you stop trying to eat me? I have a more pressing issue. Yeah, what's up? This mansion's haunted by the ghost of Ormod. I know he hasn't... I haven't seen him in a minute. He kind of fucked off when you showed up. I was going to put him to rest, and then you ate the ghost of his dead son. So that kind of prevents me from the whole forgiveness angle I was going to take. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lenny and Rowena wanted to play with them. Uh, hey, I got something. Hold on. What? How? Okay, two ideas. I can eat him. You want me to eat him? I, we've established that I can eat ghosts, so I can just, you know, gone. Uh, or I could, I guess I've technically played a transitive property in the boy too, so I could turn to the boy and then kind of forgive us or whatever. Uh, what do you want? No, that dude like sucks mad ass. Just go ahead and eat him. All right, cool. Sure. 
Uh, yeah, I kind of remember the, this building. I, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, maybe in the main hall? It should be right over that door. Let's... If I go out there... Nah, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I got you, B. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. What the fuck happened in this quest in the last three minutes? What a chill demon, dude. Father. Lenian. Is that you? Father, come closer. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Stupid idiot. Oh, oh, that's my job done. Call that a day, I guess. I need to go uh, tell him the ghost is gone. Uh, so what are you going to do, you weird little demon? Uh, I don't know. I gotta get my bearings. Hold on. Uh, I'll see you later, probably. I'll probably just chill here, I guess. <laughs> what a chill demon. What a nice guy. What a what a polite lad. Okay. And that was a quest that we did. Hi. Was it safe? Did you find the ghost? You've been gone for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, I found him. Don't worry, I got it. Um, it was the guy who built the mansion. Pretty fucked up. Pretty evil, turns out. What's up, Lily? How you doing? There's also a demon. Unrelated. Demon taking the form of a little girl. He's a cool dude. I broke his curse. He's actually super chill. Oh, um. All right. Yeah, I think I'll just stay out here. If that's if that's cool. Um, did you find anyone else in the house? Uh, what do you mean there's no survivors? What about the, what about the face with no face? There's no survivors, there's a fucking, yeah, there's a, another faceless maid in the bathroom who's like, you know, having, we should probably go get, ah, she'll be fine. The demon will find her, the demon will deal with it probably. I forgot about <laughs> Oh, right. The faceless bitch. Yeah, she'll be fine. I feared as much. Ghosts, demons, how could this have happened to us? Well, I suppose I should thank you. Hopefully now they'll all be able to rest in peace. Hey, you survived the mansion. Such bravery devise, rec deserves recognition. Here's a lamp and a ring. Those monsters to drop undercooked mystery meat. Oh, non elite invention, does it? Unlocked broken home hard mode. Why would I do that? <laughs> For what reason would I do that again? I got fucking nothing. <sighs> it was honestly not a terrible question. Yeah, yeah I got a summoning level. That was kind of any quest now. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty fucking good, actually. What the hell? Double checking is an imbued berserker ring, not eight strength bonus. This is one worse than an imbued berserker ring. And also an imbued archer ring and also probably the seer's ring too. I don't know. Magic, magic's kind of a weird thing. Oh yeah. The strength. Well, I, oh yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how strength bonus works. Stats, like, armored stats don't seem to be horrifically different so far, but you're right, it might not translate one-to-one. -one. Obviously, like, the hit points and everything is completely different, but, like, armor stats don't seem like they are massively changed from 2007, but I don't fucking know. That's a strength bonus on a ring, though. I'll take that. Thank you, ma'am. That is a better version of the ring of perception or whatever we have. This is just great. Well, I'm suddenly now interested in hard mode. <laughs> if we got this from regular, not that I can wear it until I double my defense level. <sighs> I don't want to do it right now. Okay, tell me what's up. How's this work? We entered the house through the front door, put our most ghost to the west again. Do as many times as you like. You set your current progress. Once a week, you'll get a large lamp for creation, but there's also... Three challenges that offer higher level rewards. Okay, so they're about challenges. 
You're done during any of your playthrough. You must play the first challenge, really play the second. Oh my god, I have to do this four times? Holy shit. I'll prevent you doing them all in the same run. Okay. Okay. So the problem with without dying is that the blob insta gives you. Oh my god. That's hard. 37 minutes seems like it wouldn't be super hard when I more or less knew what I was doing, but I feel like this would actually be like open the wiki guide. Is what this seems like to me. Quest without dying is just don't get ganked by the blob. Quest without dying and use one or less mystery meat isn't that bad. Because the only things that damage you are Orman's ghost, who's totally avoidable by one taking the door, and the light. So the problem is that to use one or less mystery meat you need to pretty much memorize the path. Because once the windows break and the light starts hurting you, you cannot run back and forth through the main hall a bunch of times. You need to know where you're going. You need to know where you're going and you have to like, you really have to minimize your trips to the main hall. This is not terrible. The problem is, here's the problem. If I do it right now, I want to blow my brains out. If I don't do it right now, I have to come back and do it later while the layout of the mansion, the progression of the quest is not fresh in my mind. And while it's not fresh in my mind, it's going to be way worse. I don't understand what it means by you, you have to complete the challenges in order. But you can do them all. Oh, I guess like if you do it in 37 a minutes, but you died, it doesn't matter. Devin1233, thank you for the follow. Welcome back from Vodtopia, my friend. It means that so if, you, if you did it in 37 minutes, but you died, you wouldn't get any credit. But if you do it in 37 minutes and you didn't die and you only ate one meat, you get all three in one go. I mean, it seems like there's going to be a lot of overlap between do it in 37 minutes and don't fucking die. I guess I can see now why you can reset the progress. That's true. If you wait till you have 90 plus to come back so you can open all the chests while you're doing it, that's fair. That's a point. That is a fair. I kind of just want to like throw a face at it one time to see how feasible it seems like it is. The problem is by this point, I don't remember any of the early keys. So I know bottom floor, you're going to start. Right is scythe key. So you're going to start not with the safe room, but the room, the hall adjacent to it. You're going to grab the first scroll piece because it's literally in the first fucking room. These are safe deaths, Dark Lane, and yeah, we're good. I pooped my pants a little the first time I died in there, but they're safe deaths. Um, grab the scroll out of the first room. The back room has the scythe key and the clock hands. Go put the clock hands in. That's an eye. We have to collect all the eyes. There's an eye. I forgot about the fucking eyes. We got to collect the bazillion eyes. Go the other side. Upstairs. Upstairs right is noose key. Upstairs left is doll and tusk. Snake is basically a one-way door. Snake's just the ladder. Dagger. I do not remember where dagger was. If we check a door and the guy starts talking to us, we got to mark that one mentally because that's dagger. We have to come back there for the last piece of the scroll. And then we throw the break curse at the blob in the hall right there, spread it down the main hall and end it. It, on paper, it doesn't seem horrible. Most of the duration was actually reading text. 
Are you going to send me to full health? You better fucking send me to full I'm worried they're not going to send me to full health. But, Wena, if I go in here and start this, will I get full health? Is it just going to give me full health? Or should I go eat food first? <laughs> if I go in here and I'm like at half, that's my like one try, I'm going to be upset. Fuck it, I'm going to try to get one try anyway. If it tells me to fuck off, I fuck off. 30 seconds. Oh, it gives you a timer too. That's cool. Okay. Yes. Okay, I can't skip this. I don't care about the little girl. Little girl doesn't fucking matter. Little girl doesn't fucking matter. We're go oh, this is bolted actually. We do need to go this way. This was bolted the first time. We're gonna go uh, bolted doors are also something I'm going to have to remember. I'm going to remember to grab bolted doors as we go. I did get set to full health. And we're just going to hope we don't have to deal with the ghost a whole lot. Hello. Get yeeted. Bye. I didn't notice the key in the clock hands actually fall out of her. Thank you. In the hall, here is... Okay, that was Skull Key. That's I'm not going to be remembering all the, the middle, the low and middle tier keys. Clock hands clock. Okay. Dialog box, not keep clicking. I gem. There's one meat. That's all we need. I don't need to search any more chests. Uh, let's unbolt the door for convenience. There's Raven key, not Scythe key. Raven key goes to the opposite side. And the fucking stupid ass ghost is right here. Important we don't fuck up the ghost dance because health is an extremely premium resource. I don't know which is a more premium resource, health or time. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure if it's better to peek him to be safe. Okay, small child's gonna walk through the wall. Disregard small child. This door. Oh, fuck the book puzzle. Fuck damn it, I closed this in the X. I thought it also gave you something else. One tick, this fucking ghost. Don't bother me, thank you. Gotta do the book puzzle. I don't remember the order at all. It's random. Oh, it's random. Oh, no. We have to redo this. Not orange and yellow. Not purple and green. Oof. Not blue and white. We're gonna be here forever. Okay, green. Not red and purple. Green, not orange and blue. Green, not yellow and white. Green, not white, yellow. God damn it. I wonder if this counts to my timer. I'm like in an interface and it's not counting. That was white. Hang on, I get it wrong. Oh no, we're good. Okay, green, blue, yellow, blank, white, not orange. Green, blue, yellow, not orange, white, something, something. Green, blue, yellow, not orange or purple, white. Green, green, blue, yellow, not orange or purple. Green, blue, yellow, red, white, purple, orange. Green, blue, yellow, red, white, purple, orange. This just starts going quickly at the end. Okay, that was for iGems. That did not give us a key. We don't need a key yet. He will come later. I'll have you know, I was a Super Mario Odyssey speedrunner for like two weeks before I said, wow, this is hard and gave up. My skills are coming back to me. 
I am prepared. I was forged in the fire of 50 billion fucking resets. So this never opens. This is never relevant. That door is just bait. Lucia? 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 Get here. Lucia? Get here. Lucia? Optimizing the statue pushes. This isn't an interface, so it's definitely going to take my stuff. Take from table. Fourth eyeball. We need six before we head up there. Ghost is camping the door. One tick is stupid ass. So the ghost is replaced by the one shot flop at a certain point. Right upstairs we go. And I'm not sure when it is that the windows break. But the windows breaking is a huge fucking problem. This is unbolt, unbolt. And I have a quick pass to the main chamber. That's good. There's some fucking children doing fucking children stuff. Just childrening it up. This is new store. Okay. Remember that. I won't. Let's try. Attempt to remember it. This is bedroom bathroom. No, it's this weird closet. This room might actually be pointless. Does this one have anything? Spider key. And a piece of the spell. Okay. Spider, 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 spider. Spider key. Don't tell us to go back. Ah, uh, fucking camp in the door. Not getting hit by Ormond is probably the most important part. I'm not getting hit by Ormond and minimizing trips to the main hall. Spider key is upstairs. First door on the right. Oh my god, dude. I'm doing a fucking speed run. Go somewhere else. There's nothing over... Oh, this is... This, and that, that spider door right here. That's Scythe. I'm wrong. Spider was this side. It was one of the upstairs doors. We're doing it. Got a key? God damn it, you fucking ghost. Sir, I'm trying to move with a swiftness. If he's on this door, I'm gonna fucking throw a fit. Okay. Was he on the goddamn bathroom? No. Last time we that was the one where we like triple packed him. Give me the thing. Hi gem. Uno mas. Now I remember what faceless gives us. I'm pretty sure it's a key. Excuse me, madam. Hello. Hi. We also statue. We definitely just ditch this bitch here, but we we never fucking come back for this lady. We absolutely just fucking leave her here. Was there any servants alive in the manor? No, everyone was dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can just fucking leave her there. That's doll key. This is ghost key. To be fair, I'm not really sure what we could do with that. We just assume she's going to die as she has no face. Yeah, I mean, she's having a bad fucking day. Oh, no. If this is statue key. Oh, I missed an eye. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's on the floor in here. Oh, I almost just ran. That's good. I almost just fucking left. Ink. Onk. This is scythe key. Look, we're doing it, chat. We're fucking speed running. The swiftness, the clicks, the accuracy, and the practiced speed. He's a goddamn master of the craft. Okay, doing it. Doing it. Sky Scythe Keen, you got some main hall. Gamma for tri trifecta challenge completed. If, if a mod 
wants to start a gamba for whether or not we complete the fucking trifecta challenge absolutely feel free oh that's tusks right we gotta go back up where we came in but i uh for i hope obvious reasons cannot stop i need haste this is actually going like quite well so far that's a great idea for a gamba I was expecting this to fall apart pretty much immediately because it was called hard mode. I don't know what hard mode means, but so far nothing is different. Okay, I have a general understanding of the house, I think. We're going to Scythor is here. Aha, idiot. I've already been that way. Scythe key. This is Dagger Door, right? Yes, okay. Dagger door is immediately behind Scythe door. This is a useless room. I didn't check the fog. Oh, and Strap doesn't do shit. Where was this? What I just opened? Honestly, I'm not 100% confident where that is. Probably a valuable shortcut, but I'm not sure where it is. I think that was the back end of the statue door. I feel safe in this room. Cool. Just get shrine. Piano key, skull key. Oh, right, we can't go out that way. Right. Now the glass breaks. Oh, you have to go look. Okay. Interesting. World map shows no layout. Are you shitting me? Bruh. Okay. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm fucking upset. windows if i don't go downstairs the windows can't break fuck this one's bolted damn it all right we have to go downstairs here's where the windows break okay so now we're on severe meat rations windows might actually break on time oh no it's a second oh never mind I'm, i wasn't too early here it is get me out All right, so now, now we're limited. We're limited in passes now. Every pass to the main room is like 20% of our health. That's gold right here, perfect. Well, that's gonna help. I appreciate that. That's gonna help with the speed running. Open door. This is the spell that I missed the first time. I missed that one random paper on the floor you can click on. Amongst the 300 other random papers on the floor. Okay, now we're just fucking free balling it. I'm not actually sure where we go from here. I don't know if this interaction is required. So I'm gonna do it. Because I did it last time. She's smiling. I don't know if this prevents her from fucking murdering us later. Because we are going immediately to the side of the room that she's in. Rather do it and not need it, you know? This room also does a bunch of fucking damage. Uh, okay. Now we... Okay, we only took three ticks. That's pretty okay. Doing pretty okay on health. We really gotta just maximize this shit. Out of the health that we have. Because we just can't afford to use... Not sure we are. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the backside. 
this is the hall. This is where I start getting turned around. This area, I don't know as well. And that leads us back to this place. Okay. I do not remember. This is like the middle parts. The middle sequence is where they lost me. It's locked. That's later. This is nothing. For the drink, we're good. I remember the first, like, two or three doors being useless. I had to check them anyway because somewhere I got the second eye. I feel like the second eye is at the end of the train. Uh, what do you have? Cleaver key. Okay, good. We need that. We just use it immediately is what it is because the cleaver door is, like, one of these two. That gets instantly used. Safe room. Is there anything in it? Nope. Just meat. Okay, out we go. I don't need meat. Cleaver key goes here. I don't know what this one is. I don't remember that one. Okay, we also have to, like... I don't know what kind of damage these do. I feel like I got moderately lucky last time. I didn't take any damage. Okay, we also did not take any damage, so that's positive. Now we're looking for the pipette. Right, that's the door. That door never opens. We're looking for the pipette and the human ashes. That's the drawers. A speed run, so I gotta like one tick ban this guy. There's my pipette. Good, good splits, good splits on the ban. Then there's this door. Any pipette pigums. We get one half of battery acid. Freaking ghosty is in here. Okay, we're not terribly far from moving ghosty. The human ashes are in there, right? Human ashes are in the forge. Okay. Give me the human ashes. We're doing pretty good. We're down like one third hit points, probably. I pet cauldron. Human ashes cauldron. I pet cauldron. I pet bed sheet or ectoplasm or whatever door as we get locked in okay girl who is fucking continuously screaming fuck I know yeah I know you're allergic to uh she's an extreme anaphylactic shock she's allergic to the brass coating on the key Okay, doll key. So that's doll door. We know where doll door is. I believe doll door. I think doll door is second eye. Our last statue. Is this room pointless? This room is pointless. Okay, let's go back upstairs. I realize that was a door we never fucking opened. We never did open the sixth door in that first tier basement. Okay, give me this. Uh, this is going to take us to Snake. Now we're going to the main uh, main lobby. About to get fucking bodied. Should look through the map before I start running this. Two ticks downstairs. Falls this way. Oh no, I just got stalled by the fucking door. Okay, so it was like six, seven ticks. That's a little bit of oofies. That's okay. All door. See, you know, it's it's all packed up in the old noggin, chat. It's all packed up in the old noggin. Give me this. Tusk's key. I know what I'm about, son. It took me a little bit to get there. But it's all coming back to me now. Yeah, we're getting a little bit bodied by the door. Just stop. That might be the last time we see him because we're going to spawn the blob. Now, here's the million dollar question, is do I just get one shot by the blob? <laughs> the true horror element of this quest is trying to do the fucking challenge and knowing that the blob straight up one shots you. So if I, basically if we fuck up, 
going forward, we die instantly and fail everything. Second eyeball. Okay. Before I go back on the main hall, I'm going to double check the map. Pretty sure I know where Statue Door is. Statue Door is by New Store, I believe. It's on the other side. No, this, no, no, no. This is Statue Door. This is Statue Door. Come on, brain. Come on, brain. I need you to work overtime here. I don't want to fucking come in this mansion again. I mean, maybe we'll come back someday when we have base 90s, but... I need you to process thoughts into other different squishier thoughts. Eyeball. Eyeball. Door. This leads to the cabinet that goes downstairs. No, this leads to the hairbrush, right? Oh, fuck. I didn't take it. Damn it. <laughs> There's more dialogue boxes than that. All right, here comes the blob. Fuck me. Oh, fear. Chad, I have fear. I have fear in my heart. All right, now the, the hazard is no longer the ghost. That does... 10% of our health and damage. The hazard is a blob that Insta gives us if we make a mistake. So, any mistake is now an instant total run failure. Oh, fucking this isn't it, shit. Upstairs? There's your doll door. There's your doll door. Back into the right. Back into the right. This is the game of Honey House. This is a big old game. It's a game of Honey House speed run is what it is. I I appreciate that RuneScape 3 has gone through the effort to try and give all of this content replayability. But I sort of wish they hadn't. The hairbrush. Merry Christmas. Kid literally just got fucking ditched in the attic. Blob demon. I'm gonna run across the fucking main entryway. Okay. Gotta go out. We just gotta run straight across. This is noose key. This is dagger. We run straight across. And we're hanging a left, actually. We can get the noose much faster by hanging a left. Okay, any mistake is death. Any mistake is death! You have like two ticks to start running away from the door. Or it kills you and it's unavoidable. <gasps> oh. The meat's gonna be coming in. Oh, I should probably move this over here. Oh. Ah. If this just stacked up like 50 ticks of damage on me and I die, it says I'm gonna be pretty upset. No, okay. Don't. Uh oh, am I gonna die in the unlocking animation? Okay, one fear, <laughs> one fear. <laughs> okay, don't touch me. All right, now we're just going down the cabinet, right? Okay, down the cabinet. Excuse me, I'm about to go downstairs. Now we're in the weird place. I don't think we got anything from this. I think this is just lower, but I'm going to touch it and close it just to make sure. I don't remember where the insanity notes came from. I don't think, I think this was just lower. That was just lower. Okay. No, it's super Resident Evil. Yeah, this, this entire game is a, or this entire quest is just like a massive Resident Evil reference for sure. Absolutely. ding -a -ling. This is This is big Resident Evil energy. All right, keep the code. Which you do automatically memorize. That's cool. Keep the code. And then we need to get back to the full basement. I believe we just get let into immediately. Yes, because we're back here now. So we go back through this door. I don't know if the... I don't think Blob spawns in the basement. I think we're, we've got free reign for a little bit. I'm pretty good. 
What is this door, by the way? We never opened this. We never ever went to this door. Is this the jammed one? This is the jammed one. Okay. We did look at this. It was the jammed one. All right, down the stairs. We're fucking, we're doing it, chat. We're fucking doing it. So we get a brief reprieve. I don't think there's anything that can kill us until we come back to the surface. Fuck! No! <laughs> I forgot about the door puzzle! I'm a genius! Okay, we're good. I vaguely remembered. I had no faith in my brain to retain that knowledge, but we got there. That's good. All right. At this point, I still have the meat. We even still have a meat. We're zero meats. We're in the basement. I haven't consumed a single fucking meat. The only... Fucking... This is a mistake to say. You don't say words like this. The only thing that can kill us at this point is the blob. Because unless the basement has changed, it did say it was hard mode, but I think the hard mode just means the challenges. I don't know if I have to touch this. I have to touch this. Because that's the notes on insanity in the chain ski. Now we're just missing the last one, which is behind the dagger door. So all we gotta do is get the dagger key out of the pitch fucking dark fun basement. And then once we get the dagger key... Which I don't remember where it is. Back here. So we get the dagger key. We run to the dagger door. And we're done. We're slamming. We're also jamming. I think that's literally it. It's dagger key. Uh, where red dot? I had to search something. There it is. No red dot. Dagger key. You have three of the four spell pieces. Go back upstairs. Rush the dagger door. Last piece of spells in the dagger door. Come out of the dagger door. Step to the side. Juke the fucking demon. We have 10 minutes. I think we're fine, actually. I think the timer is actually quite forgiving. Although there is a lot of running. Running back through the dagger door is definitely a little bit of a process, for sure. And dagger door is immediately... Run door. Dagger door is immediately behind scythe door. So we go up the stairs. And it's on the right. And as soon as we go through the scythe door, Blob is going to spawn. I think that's going to be our next Blob encounter. Blob's going to spawn behind the scythe door. We're going to be immediately next to the dagger door. But while we're in the animation, like once we've committed to the animation for unlocking the door, Blob can't kill us. Um, and then we'll open the dagger door. We'll get the last piece. We'll come back out the dagger door, run down the hall, use the curse, talk to the Blob, and it's fucking time. We are absolutely just chilling. We are just cruising. I can just eat this meat when we get to the main hallway. I don't need to worry about that at all. We absolutely fucking slapped this. This was not at all the problem I thought it was going to be. Okay, fastest way back out of here is probably just to go back up the stairs. Which is going to start hitting us blob encounters. Let me go back down before I... Let me check the map before I do that. Figure out where I'm going. I have time to look at the map and be safe. We go up the staircase. I would rather take the snake door because then I am 100% on where I'm being let out. Imagine if I walked in there, got hit with a knife, and fucking died. Fucking snake door, what the hell? Ah. 
Oh, no. Right, to get to the snake, I have to go through this. Okay, we're doing it that way. Uh, okay. I was hoping to risk slightly less blobs, but... We're gonna go risk blobs. Because I can't go back that way. We're gonna risk blobs and possibly getting lost. I'm gonna start hitting fucking blobs now. If it touches me, it's game over. If it touch me. Oh, that's the run door. I don't know how to fuck to get out of here. I'm fucking lost. This is the hallway I died in because I thought it was too small for her to spawn. I'm not sure where I am, but I think this is the main hall. That's where the blast spawned! Nobody worry. Nobody worry. Everything's fine. Unlocking animation is safe. Nobody worry. Everything's fine. It's for the drama. There was never any chance I was gonna die. In front of the far fucking of the hall. Great curse. Blob. Patui. Knock the blob. He's a nice gentleman. Hold down space bar for like six minutes. There's a lot of fucking dialogue here. I'm fine. I just need to figure out who shit my pants. <laughs> who shit my pants? This is interesting that this is like a demon who like this is his actual form. He just looks like this. And he ate a little girl and he seems like he legitimately felt bad about it. I need to go in that door. Shit, hold on. I have to go back to the main hall. Sir, you're... Can I reload this room? And he'll leave? That's the door I need to go through. Thank you. I gotta go that way. That's that's the way it's where we're meeting. Possible I could have even walked through him at that point. I'm not sure. Yes. Oh, first try. First try with the triple. I don't even think I had to eat the meat. I think I could have skipped the meat. Complete all three additional challenges for Maria in the Broken Home Quest. You took 33 minutes. It is kind of tight. We had four, we had four minutes left. So it is actually kind of tight. I think it definitely wasn't, like, perfect. I made a couple of mistakes. I got mildly lost a couple of times. You would have been at under 300 health. Yeah, but I would... Oh, yeah, because I had... I had 760. Eating was a full heal. And I lost another 370. So, I didn't even need one meat. I could have done it with zero meat. Easy. Fucking easiest game ever played. <laughs> this entity's in floating around asking for you. Congratulations on completing the second challenge. Is there more challenges for you? Better throw in the ghost. Oh, Rowena the ghost. Cool, the horrible ghost girl is a pet now. Time trial, asylum surgeon's ring. Occasionally prevents you from losing adrenaline when using threshold abilities. Get this huge lamp as a reward. <laughs> I did 85 defense. We're almost there. I just need 85 defense. 85 defense, and then I can wear this pretty fucking dope ring here. Uh, it seems pretty good. We're close. I have 16, so... We're definitely in the ballpark. Where do I want to put this? Where do we want a huge art XP? I feel like summoning is the herb lore of RuneScape 3. I don't know if that's accurate. Because in old school RuneScape, my rule of thumb was every lamp goes into herb lore. Because herb lore is such aids to level on an Iron Man. And what little experience I have in the couple of days that I've played this. 
I feel like summoning is the herb lore of RuneScape 3. Herb lore probably also still sucks balls to level, but summoning sucks like super giga balls. It's like herb lore if every potion was five fucking ingredients. <laughs> I don't even know how much this huge is worth. What's this even worth? It's pretty, it's pretty huge. That's, I'll go ahead. Yep, that's, that gets it. That's a pass. That's huge. It is in fact fucking huge. That's 50% more summoning levels than I had previously. Honk. Okay, cool. I have 16 summoning now. I've summoned zero creatures. <laughs> That's false. I summoned one wolf in the tutorial when they were teaching me how to summon a wolf. A beast of burden that can carry up to three items. Oh, this is like bag slots. Huh. War pig. I can turn summoning points into prayer. It's eager. Neat. Here it was with. Okay, fair enough. So I have learned much of the arts of summoning, considering, again, I've summoned one creature ever, and it was in a tutorial. So we've done all of the Pathfinder quests, except for... Kill a powerful demon and several cultists. This does say replaced 2001's Demon Slayer. So it sounds like this is a completely different quest. I can start this quest. And if the quest gets to a point where it says, go into the circle of level 30 wizards and kill a demon, I just won't do that. And we'll leave it for later. I can... I can probably do priest in peril because I gotta kill like one guy I gotta kill like one guy and if I have a whole inventory of food I'm sure I oh it's two guys but like I'm actually not that worried about the dog I'm worried about the fucking wizard if I have a whole inventory of food I can probably get through one guy this one's going to be a pass for now. 52 monster? Going to be a pass on that one for the moment. So we're getting there on Pathfinders. Ooh, Dragon Slayer is showing up in Champion now. Haha, <laughs> Waterfall Quest is on the same fucking level as Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Why is the Knight Sword up here? What the fuck? You do this, you do this the first five seconds of an account to skip the first 31 smithing levels. Why the hell is this here? I guess you technically have to walk past ice warriors. I guess. I guess you have to walk past ice warriors. Why is this in the dragon slayer and Iklarin's little helper bucket? Whatever, we got this next year, too. A large part of me wants to just go do Waterfall Quest and say, like, fuck it, I'm combat 50 now, but... But I don't. We have to do Adventurer tier. So Adventurer tier makes me feel better about new Demon Slayer. Because, like, Tower of Life and other than the fact that this is on Karamja biohazard these are all pretty easy quests and then i don't know what the bottom five are those are all new i know the top six i don't know the bottom five you're gonna have to fight just like a fuck ton of stuff probably have some stats 37 plus prayer is recommended. Is that what you get protection prayers these days? Do they want you to do some protection prayers? Interesting. Okay. That's obviously a ways down the road, but this is the target where we're going to open up three bonds again. 
Is this just like broke broke? Oh yeah, I actually just fucking closed itself. All right, give my browser here. So, before we go, I'll just open this back up here. That was a safe death in the mansion, so that's cool. Otherwise, this would have been irrelevant, and this is just a work in progress, and I haven't even finished it yet. We're going to die at some point. It's inevitable. When we do, we lose that hardcore status. I'm going to go into my Discord, where there is a channel called Three Bonds. And I'm going to look at some guesses and figure out who most correctly pegged how I was going to lose my hardcore status. So if you want to get a guess in there, we're giving away quite a few bonds and stacks of GP. Thanks to a uh, very generous comrade of the stream, Thurlow. We're not going to have one winner, but three. You can pop a guess in that channel. Anyone's welcome to do it. Whoever has the most specifically accurate, correct guess when I do die wins the main pot, and then we'll broaden the scope from there. So if I die to... A fucking off prayer hit for a superior slayer monster. Someone who said that I died to a superior slayer monster would win. Second would be someone who said I died with the wrong protection prayer up. And maybe third would be like I died in combat or I died on a slayer task or I died to a hit of, of, of like fucking above a certain value or whatever. So you can make it as broad or as specific as you want. Third place is one bond. Second place is two bonds. And the grand prize is Thurlow's contribution. 50 million old school runescape gp which can be used to purchase somewhere in the general region of seven bonds you can just buy them on an old if you only play three you can just it's the same account get on old school turn that shit into bonds redeem them works for both games if you play old school you can do whatever you want with the money you play old school, but you're an Iron Man. I guess we'll just buy and unlock a couple of the bonds, but you're not going to get quite as many because we have to pay the fee to unlock them off of the Grand Exchange. I can give them away because I'm just buying them from Jagex for dollars because obviously I don't have any fucking GP to buy this shit. Pretty decent prize pool that we've got building up here, I thinks. 